everybody out there in the world hear me clearly. See, I done switched my it up. You like that, don't you? It's the one of the only big sexy official live in the flesh. He told these people on the podcast, he sh on somebody. Like flashing and flashing about nine a week. Like, when does that cycle stop with you? Women based off, off emotions, they want love, they want to be married. You compare everything because you get on social media and you look at a lot of fake shit. Yo, it's your boy Von Ray. Welcome to the Secrets Behind a Successful Podcast. Hey man, I started this podcast less than a year and it's already viral all over the internet. And I get a lot of DMs where people are asking me, how do I do this? How am I getting my podcast so professional and in front of all of these viewers? Well, hey man, I got the ebook for you. The Secrets Behind a Successful Podcast where I break everything down, the equipment list, every platform you need to be on, how to monetize your pages and how to really get your audience engaged with conversations and special guests and locations and plenty other things. Hey man, if you want to know how to start your podcast, get this book now. VonRayTV.com. Let's go. Yo, yo, yo. It's your boy Von Ray. We back with another episode of Set the Record Straight Podcast. You know what it is. You know what it ain't. Okay. You know what it could be. Oh, I like that. Oh, you like that? I like I that. I like this switch up. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to keep that one. Yeah, Wait. Yeah. Say it. Do you, can you remember it though? I said, you know what it is. You know what it ain't. You know what it could be. Duh, you know I like it that. Be. Duh. You know what it ain't. Exactly. I like that. I like that. Okay. I like yeah. that. But that's your new show, like opener. Nah, we just. I just been trying. Just to for it him. Up, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it was cute. Yeah. I like that though. I like that. Rappy. But anyway, cute. man, we here with another episode. Y'all already know what time it is. We always keep it lit over here. Set the record straight. What's going on, Big Sexy? What's going on, y'all? It's the one of the only Big Sexy official live in the press. I gotta make sure my bag is busy. Cause where my little purse at? Down. What's going on? And listen, I'm actually excited about this one a lot because. <laughs> This is my Gemini sister right here. Mm. And I just, for some reason, I just relate to Gemini's a lot because we are <laughs> misunderstood, Very but we so fucking real. So we real. real. And they love to call us really fake, but we really real. We really real. And we say exactly what's on our mind always. And I guess that make us fake. Always. Down. But introduce yourself, sister. I'm Amy Luciani, the one and only bag lady, artist, TV personality. I'm that girl. I'm really Down. that girl. That's what's Down. up. Mm -hmm. And look good. And, and look at all good. angles like this. Mm -hmm. Down. Mm -hmm. Sister, you from the hood? I'm really not though. And you know what? I don't I don't like to just assume because yeah. you're a black woman. That's what I'm asking. You I from got... Atlanta? Like where you from? No, I'm from Detroit. Detroit. Um, Michigan. And I, Michigan. Yes. And I know you would immediately think like it's given that, uh -huh. but my parents divorced. We went one way, one way, suburbs, back to the hood, suburbs. So I'm I can give you both sides. I can give you that Gemini stuff you want. Down. Oh, for sure. I can give you that. Yeah. I sure. can give you suburbs. And I would say I'm right in the middle, too. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm giving you what you want to get. Absolutely. Pull it out of me, and that's what you're going to get. Yeah. But you been in tussles before? Been where? Tussles. You been in fights? She said been where? <laughs> she said been where? <laughs> tussles, nigga. Have you been, been in a fight? tussle. Yeah. Really? So you been in a lot of fights? Unfortunately, I was a fighter. A, really? a, a fighter. All Geminis are fighters, my nigga. Especially was, the though, female was. Geminis, they are dangerous. Really? They are very, I don't even very think dangerous. we're dangerous. I think that our tolerance and, and uh, tempers are immature and they need to evolve. Mm -hmm. And I have evolved. I know with the female Geminis, we'd be like kind of happy. Like, well, it's just me. I got a temper. I'm a Gemini, but... They gonna swing first on you? They I'm going to swing that. on you first every they gonna time. Do all that. I'm, I'm going to do that back then. Back know, then. Now we swinging deals around. God, we swinging deals around here. I, I'm not Period. denying you yeah. involved. I'm just saying, like, when y'all be in the moments before you figure it out, uh -huh. they the swinger first. Or, like, you know what I'm saying? Wow. For and sure. This I'm the true. man Gemini, though. I'm the man Gemini, and I know I am. But for me, my energy is always consistent. Okay. I don't know. I'm being real, though. I don't know if it's because I'm, like, a camera type of girl. Yeah. I, I know how to just present a certain Thanks. type of way, Thanks. but you will always see me. If you see me at Walmart, Target, I'm really the same person. However, now I will, I do have that Gemini side where I will flip. Anybody can flip get this work. Script. And when I say work, I'm not necessarily talking about beating you up, but work as far as like, I'm going to pop my shit to you. Yeah. Always going to be not opinionated. Gonna stand down. Oh, don't give a fuck who you are. I'm going to speak my opinion. Always. Don't care. That's so Nobody. Really you can't know. say like in your younger days, you wouldn't like on your raw raw shit. No, what's up, my my shit, but I change. You know, I'm I'm more, I'm 29 now, Ooh. so it's a different way that I operate. I would say in the last five years, 
I'm not getting into a physical altercation. Yeah. I'm not acting out of character. Yeah. It's, it's, I'm going but so far because I have so much to lose. Thanks. Right. And I feel like I have been left on stages of proving myself. Because right. just like I told him, a lot of the root of it is feeling like you have to prove Proof. yourself. And to everybody's circling around. What you going to do? What you going to say next? So I you can, feel like I, I got to show out more. I'm going to be honest with you. I can agree to disagree because I really be feeling like I can't sleep at night sometimes because I just be that fucking bothered. Like, I just be I that bothered. I never had that problem with a female. <laughs> you know, you know, you know, because I'm not, right I'm not the, the type of person that's going to bother you. So I feel like you had for you to really bother me and piss me off. You really done did something to get under my skin at yeah. that point. It's like, if I don't say something, if I don't do something, I'm going to lose sleep over that shit. But it's, I feel like it's a mixture at all. Like it's a mixture. It's a mixture of you as a person. Then it's a mixture of still, do you know how many people are in prison right now? Because it really was about pride oh, yes. Jesus. when it was so many. Yes. And that's like 80% of people. Nobody wakes up in the morning and say, Hey, I want to go to prison for 30 years. It was yes. the pride that didn't allow you to walk your motherfucking ass that's away right. yeah. and let the situation ride. You felt as though you had to shoot him. Yeah. Now you got to do that time. You know and what then, I'm saying? And then once you get in there and start doing the time, Nine times out of ten, it was some shit that wouldn't even. Wouldn't even work. Work. It'd be what? like, what? I could have literally that. walked away from this. <laughs> it's been that, oh. done that. Let me what say, my work? last year of the mentality of being like, it's okay to just be fighting, like, was, <laughs> it's not funny, it is funny, but <laughs> <laughs> my mom, y'all, this is terrible. My mom was at a church service. This is years ago, years ago, because I've been a grown boss for a minute mm. now. And my mom said this girl kept looking at me in church service. This New Year's. And she said the girl was just staring at her the whole service. And finally at the end, she came and she's like, excuse me, ma'am, do you have a daughter name? And she named me and my little sister. And my mom was like, yeah. Mm. You know, it's church. So she uh-huh. thinks, she's like, yeah. Your oldest daughter beat me up real bad because me and your youngest Wait, daughter. Wait, hold on. Sister, take me slow me on that. You the oldest daughter? I'm the second oldest. But my sister lived in Detroit at the time. But you and was doing the little... beat her up and... Yeah, well, my sister was grown. She was pregnant at the time, and it was a girl kind of in the neighborhood. They wanted to fight a pregnant girl, Uh a whole big grown woman. It's like, friend, pop, 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 friend, we don't do it. But you and my mom saw the girl saw her in church, and was like staring at her. Was like, because you know we all kind of look alike. She's like, yeah, like two years ago, she told her the story. My mom's like, that was so embarrassing in church, and that was like. It was like my first time, like, yeah, I can't be that person. Have you ever got beat up, though? I haven't got beat up, but I have definitely got my head bust with a skate. No, you didn't, Amy. Factuals. No. I got a whole, yeah, under this wig and under these Sealy braids, under the wig. It's a little, little moment of the day. Why you got bust? This was in high school. We was doing the most. It was probably earned and deserved. Yeah, she Probably wasn't playing with you. That yeah, because you know yeah, what? When we you're doing too much. When you're a rumbler, you're gonna meet your match. It's inevitable. Oh God. Or you're gonna you're gonna get into a situation where they really give you a run for your money. Yeah. And see, we was at like at this time because I got so many sisters. We mm. was just gonna jump your ass down every time. Because how many sisters you got? You got? <laughs> it's, it's four of us. <laughs> how many sisters you got? It's yeah. four of us. Yeah. But we had a stepsister that was two years older than me. So my sister. So let me tell you, so my, I don't even, that's a whole nother thing. No, go ahead. My sister used to keep us in some stuff. So for a moment, I was like, had that thing. Like, I got a bunch of sisters. We going to uh, beat your ass. Uh-huh. Down, as, as it should I be. I felt like that be. with my cousins. I felt like I had so many cousins. Yeah, I wasn't scared of nobody. Nothing. And you had for this real, feeling of feeling like you invisible for a exactly. long time. Because it's like, me and my sister's going to beat your ass oh, bad. God. When but we now, get off this bus, my cousin's going to be right there waiting. Right. I swear to God. And even if it looked like I'm starting to take a little lick, they my gonna sister's going to beat you Damn, down. I yeah. really, I come from a holiness, wellness, foul they gonna jump in. So if, if they showed up to my house, my mother was calling the police and praying. For no. real? She wasn't. And then my sisters literally are just, I would say my younger sister, Brandy, has a little bit more edge in her. Like, I can see if I got into an altercation, she would jump. She I know I could tell by just you know the things that she. But had she been would through. want her resolution to be talking it down. Too. But my older sister, she is pulling out her Bible and she's calling the police. Really? I, so I've always had to be the one to fight for myself. Okay, got Literally, it. Literally, so that's why my mouth has always. And you know, as a Gemini, we can get nasty, nasty. with it. But I have to mm. sit on it and be like, ooh, 
Amy. I be knowing some I stuff that t- I say to somebody. That when I, I tell you, so. why y'all like that though? It's it's terrible. Oh, it's, we got. But I'm delivered though. You deliver. Why I, y'all like I'm not that? It's like, it's like y'all 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 are vault holders, but it's like when somebody get on your bad Ooh. side, you'll use the worst of the worst. No, nah, but so this not the, cool to do though. But this is the thing. So for me. I feel like that only, and, and 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 I know you always on the side audience, but answer truthfully, because I know you will. Be, because you know what? You so know, okay, so one. Because I was on the live, you ain't delivered fully. One, you know I take things to the grave. That, okay, so I'm right about that. I'm a, I'm a grave taker. I, I don't too. even play them type of games. But I guess you could, I've had people tell me, when somebody's in good standing with you, you is like phenomenal. You will go to the grave. Yeah. I've had friends that I know shit about for years and years and nobody would ever know. Yeah. But I feel like if I'm in a situation and I feel like you insulting me or you trying to like put on in this room, I'm going to give you a show. Ooh. So don't I'm... ever try to give me a show in, in front of people. If I feel like you trying to disrespect me, I'm going to disrespect you, disrespect Let you. me tell you why we take it so personal as Gemini's. I really believe, like, I've met a bunch of Geminis, and I could say one characteristic that we all have, we are almost loyal to a default. <laughs> so my issue is for a long time expecting people to be how it will be to them. Absolutely. And I'm so loyal where it's like my friends is my friends. These mm. are 10 plus years. Like, you see them, they at the house, I'm jewelry around them. These are my people. That speaks volumes about who I am and who Fact. you are. Now, when a person that I'm that vulnerable with, which I'm not, I don't even like to be, but when you my friend, you getting all it's vulnerable. You can come at the crib, stay and I move in. I don't care. I'm like the friend friend. But when you do something that's disloyal to me, whether it be two faced or throwing me under the bus or anything that you know is disloyal, I take it so personal. That in my head, I be feeling like I could probably kill you with my hand. Oh, I take it personally. But if you have a little bit of a like a, a get back type of spirit too. But I really don't. My get back be so terrible to people. I just move on and me friends be like, so see me in the airport and be like, me you never DM me back. I actually me. what happened, bitch. So you, you know what happened. But this the thing though. Bitch, it's you know different what happened. with women so. Gemini's no sexy. It's oh. way different with women Gemini's. They are very, very vindictive. Like, they will do some of the worst of the worst stuff if they hurt by a man. But I, you won't never know about it coming from me. Because I I can lay on my vindictiveness. <laughs> it's in me. I do it, but I, I don't do it where you going to know about it. And that'd be the best part for me because I'd be looking like... <laughs> oh. <laughs> you don't even know. why do it if, if you don't want them to know, though? Why do it? Yeah. Because that's the best part of the vindictiveness. The fact <laughs> it's like, the get back is real really, when he know what you're you know doing. What you're not really hurting him if he don't know. It's hurt. It's more. It's better. So we got to walk off and be like, boy, if you knew what happened last uh-huh. weekend, you would want to. I sit there smirking like, I'm that girl. Like, Because I ain't going to lie. Cool. When I watched you on the other podcast with uh old girl, I can't think of her name. I really felt some type of way for Mozzie. Who? When you said girl? you was going to give the dude off uh Queen Sugar some cat. Oh, Mazi, we wouldn't even, we wouldn't even talking in. <laughs> he was on the block list with the other niggas. Down. Like, he was on the block list with the other niggas that Down. Man. I was like, dang, I really felt some type of way. I'm like, dang, that's Mazi girl. I really felt some type Because I was like, no, if that no. was my girl sitting up there, Mm-mm. she'd be have we'd have a conversation. For sure. Because I know you coming back home eventually. For sure. But see, that's another thing. When we're outside, we be outside. Down. So you mean to tell me it wasn't a conversation that was had? After that, no. We were literally like, I'm, I don't. He don't play them type of games as far as the confusion. Like, you my girl or you not? I need to know how you moving. Is It was clear as day. Like So he didn't ask you about single. the clip? Like, no, people tag him being petty. Yeah. So, of course, he do stuff. He go and like it. Just let me know. I seen uh-huh. it. Facts. But it's like I'm single. So What's his sign? Scorpio. Oh, God. And that's what I attract, honey. I don't Ooh, get it. And one thing. So tell me if I'm wrong or if I'm right. Them Scorpios, beautiful people. <laughs> but when... You do them wrong. They, they get vindictive as fuck. They get nasty. And they want to burn your house down and they want you to die. Our anger comes out in a different way. Oh they want you to is... die too. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> I want to see every person that I Scorpio die. Have I dumped him? Don't ask him. Just no. don't ask him. Oh, that would hurt my Nothing feelings. Nothing happened to you, so don't ask me. <laughs> that would hurt my feelings. Them Scorpios, when you do them wrong, that's why they call Scorpios. Because really? that tell, oh, girl, it's bad. Got, I don't feel like he so like that just looking from the outside looking in. I've had two Scorpios. Mozzie is not that Scorpio. Not that Scorpio. Got you. But I knew another one that was like, bitch, I'm praying on your downfall. Yeah, yeah. that is Every day. Scor- 
I'm praying on it, but him, my That's a job. Like, they, he dedicated to that. That prayer. is a yeah. see a Gemini. We just going I ain't never gonna talk to you again. That's me. I'm Thanks. not really a forgiving person like that. I don't know about you, sister. I'm not a forgiving person. I'm not a forgiver. But you know what? I want to be a forgiving person, but that's so fake because I really don't want to forgive me you. Me either. I really <laughs> wanted to be like, damn, you fucked me over like that. Like, watch me from afar until you're dead. Like, Down. That's but me. But that's kind of like, it's not good to have an for, uh, uh, oh. unforgiving heart, right? Oh, okay. sister, the thing with me is, I for me, I just be feeling like people know what they doing, they know what they did, they know that you thought about it before you did it, whatever foul shit it is that and you bitch, did. And bitch, if you had a conscience, you knew why, while you were doing it, it was yeah. wrong. So guess what? What do I have to forgive? And guess what? Even if I do choose to forgive you, we don't never have to have nothing else again because I feel like people sometimes... They see what you're doing. They see how you operate. And then you do it to them. What am I forgiving for you what to do this shit again? Because why That's at your big age? Hell. I agree on that. Yeah. Because why at your big age do you want me to believe that your ass didn't know no better? Exactly. You 100% knew better. Down. But you probably used to people say, okay, human, flawed, I'm going to forgive you. Bitch, I'm not forgiving you. I'm just so sorry. That's it, my problem, though. I forgive a lot. It, mm -hmm. it got to take a couple times for me to be like, yeah, you just ain't for me. Like, mm. I would literally let somebody you gotta be keep super coming special. back. Oh, no. Keep coming back, like, to, to prove to me. Because at first, I'd be like, maybe he just really... It'll take two or three for me to be like, yeah, I'm done. You maybe you two have one time with me, maybe. Because things happen, mm. and, and things happen. Whether it's relationships, friendships, it's inevitable. Yeah. Everybody not going to always agree. But it's just, for me, it's certain things. Like, somebody like him, I could fall out with him for a year and not speak to him right. and still be friends with him again right. because he's a genuine person. Now, if you do some foul shit to me that it's no coming back from, I ain't forgiving shit. It it's ain't no coming back from foul shit. About. It's nothing for us to talk we, about. Because I can't ever be easy around you again. At all. Even if I forgive you, which I don't. <laughs> Don't. Everybody who know me knows. You play with me, it's, and it's just over because I'm the girl that I'm such a giver. Mm -hmm. Here, here, you want to hear? Once you do something crazy that I know for sure that you know I wouldn't do. Uh -huh. In my head, I can't bring you back because I'm never my spirit. I'm never gonna be comfortable again. Well, let's it's take never it gonna be right. It's always gonna be kind of like. Oh, so this is a this is a good leeway to a question. So let me hold on. Hold so on. Many, I want to okay, take it back. Is you beating me to it? No, I, uh -oh. I'm gonna let you go. I just want to take it back because we, we speeding. Fast Got it. Okay. okay. When what was the platform that y'all blew up on? Were you together or was y'all separate? When, was it YouTube or Facebook? Because um, I feel like I seen y'all a lot more on Facebook. Probably him because Mozzie is really big on Facebook. Got you. Um, he's from a small country town. So they're Facebook. They don't Instagram like that. They don't do nothing but Facebook. Yeah. So oh, he dominated. Like I never have. I don't have a fan base on Facebook. Gotcha. Although I got 100,000 followers on there. Mm -hmm. I don't have a fan base on there. But we blew up. Um, it kind of started off Instagram content. And then we quickly went to YouTube because Instagram wasn't paying. So we was just like popular mm -hmm. on Instagram. But so not with the, getting paid. a check. Right. So we took the talents to the Chizek, yeah. which was YouTube. So we, from there, you know, YouTube a whole nother ball game of exactly, fan base. Yeah, I know. It was just like almost two months of YouTube and was just up after that. Thanks. So I would say YouTube, I would say it went from Instagram, but YouTube was the real play for yeah. us. Yeah. That was a good boss up move though. But okay. go ahead. I just wanted to. Yeah, yeah to do, do a little. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Down. But uh, Charlie, going back. Uh. Bring it back. Bring it back. So how did you reconnect back with Mozzie? Because me, when it comes down to dudes that I did, but you know what? I always, this is one thing I do have to always tell myself, mm -hmm. B, you never been in love, so it's a different dynamic you never for been me. In love for you? Never. Never. I could genuinely say I've never been in love before. And I don't, I Amy I sometimes, I, I don't even you. be. It's me? It just told me a lot about your mind. Me too. It's not a bad thing to actually be like. And I think for me, like, I don't even be wanting to tap into something that I've never, because it's like, I, I'm, I don't miss it because I've never had it. Really? So I'm able to go and lay in the bed by myself and don't give not one fuck by and sleeping be comfortable. by myself. So be you're good. not a person who needs a person. No, never, not yeah, a friend or a man. that person, he going to be fucked you up gonna be by him. You going to be fucked up by him. I think so. You I, think so? Yeah. But because you went so long, you're not desperate to go find that person. They're going to have to really work. Because oh, you already laid in your bed so that. long and be like, I don't. I'm yes, scared. and I like my air on a certain temperature when I'm watching my shows. I don't want nobody talking to me. Oh, my God. I be needing my me time when I want to play with, you know, yeah. and just enjoy my. And you don't got to share Oh, space. God. And I'm able to just look on my phone and just, 
Ah, oh, play You're talking role. about my old life it when like I was you just single need a for sex a year. Doll. That's all. You need somebody just lay there. He was describing that. You need a robot. I was going there. He need a robot. I start picturing it a little. That's like, what it seems it like. Sounds oh, like we need to go to Amazon today. Yeah, it sounds like you just need a doll, robot, some type of new. Shit that's oh, going on I might need right me a piece of robot. I oh could do me a piece of robe. <laughs> oh my god! But how did you? How did you and Mazi get? Uh. How do we go back? So, okay. you know what? It's not a big grand story because mm-hmm. you know we was together. It'll be six years this year. I dumped a man year five. You just gotta you gotta get that out there and just get uh-huh. over the hump. Like it, it happened. Everybody saw us. So I broke up with him a year ago, and honestly. What had what made him start being on my mind was when Takeoff passed away. Mm-hmm. Me and him, we share a music love and likeness. Like this is what we do. So mm-hmm. we got a music friendship. We can listen to all the old. We just from the sixties, the fifties, any year we know music. That's mm-hmm. our connection. She just ain't letting her best eater go. That's all it sounds like. Him. No, I but that's kind of true. Like to me. That's kind of true. It was cute. <laughs> no, but seriously, R.I.P. <laughs> Takeoff. When when take ain't off. nobody letting their best eater go. That's all she's trying to That's say. That's I let mine She go. started thinking about that nigga because she missed that. You and know I, what I'm saying? And I had another eater. It, uh, uh, That's uh, my, but the I name t- was Rose. Don't. See, yeah, I'm no, but cool. guess what? But I'm it's only so cool. much that Rose I'm can do. Doing it ain't <laughs> something that that Rose had a. Uh, hey, the Rose can't hit the back of that thing. So now this is true. This is true. But the front of that you. thing be just okay. But was that a reason why you took it back? No, let me let me get to it. Okay, okay, it. got it. Okay. So take off, passed away, and then I swear, <laughs> like for two months, it was just on my heart, like you're not even mad at your ex no more. Like when I, he was blocked on everything for a year straight, like couldn't I blocked. Down to the dog page that he started. When he first no, you did. Everything was blocked for a year. Like, real talk. He would tell you that. So, when Takeoff passed, it was just on my spirit. I kept being like, damn, life is so short. Oh, we love them. We love Amigos. And I just kept thinking about it. So, one day, the Facebook showed the one year anniversary of the breakup and how I knew it was the one year because I'm petty. I had a pool party that, the day he got broke. Oh, that's yeah, such a I was like, y'all come to the mansion. I'm crying. I need. We got drunk. I fucked up. But Facebook reminded me. I'm like, damn, it's been a year. I swear to God, I unblocked him that same day. And on God, hours later, I got a text. And he was like, I'm probably still blocked, but just checking on you. It's been a year. And I'm like, it's scary. I'm like, nigga, you've been blocked for a year. When I say, when I unblocked him, he was like, I've been texting you like every week for a year. I just knew nothing was going to go through. He's like, but... Text you on the one year breakup and look who responded. I responded to wow. him. I was like, Maz, I'm not mad at you no more. That's just how I went. And then about two weeks later, I remember I went to Detroit. I came back. I was moving. And he saw it on Instagram. Cause I went and blocked him on every I unblocked him. Facebook, TikTok, everything. He DM me. He was like, you know, I know it's awkward. If you want me to come out, move all your stuff uh-huh. in. Like I'll help you put your couch together. You don't gotta be there. You don't gotta talk to me. And I was just sitting there for a minute, like, Kind of do Mr. Dead, kind of do mm-hmm. mm-hmm. And I was like, yeah, come put the cows together. <laughs> <laughs> come put this couch together, baby. <laughs> come put it together, baby. Come put this couch together, Mr. Dead. And this coochie yeah. together. Oh, my God. Duh, put me together. Ain't nobody going to let that best be to go. But that's how easy it was. Wow. That's put dope. the couch together, and I think I was playing hard to get, like, that first night, and the next day he was like, yeah. Everything together at your crib. And I'm like, yeah, I sent him a little video. And he was like, well, I will pull up. Like, I don't mind. I'm like, yeah, you can come over. And then we've been locked in. Again so beautiful then. in the face. Thank you. Did you, like, being that he, like, semi had went public with the situation, how did that No, not semi. You? That nigga went very Because public. I didn't even, I didn't even really don't know be nice. about don't that. Don't give him no nah, I didn't really know about that in <laughs> details deeply. I did see certain things. And I'm the type of person I don't like to just go by what I see on social yeah, yeah, media. Yeah. But I did see that he posted something, right? Right. How did that resonate with you for you to, because for me, just me personally, when things for me, because I'm the type of person and I would say as an adult, right? I don't go to the media. I Now behind closed doors, I would curse you the fuck out. I, I was slain who the fuck you are, right. but I'm not going to the media. Right. Me personally. Yeah. I, when somebody goes to the media on me, it's nothing we have to talk about. Because yeah, I would right. never it's do you like that. It's different when you're in love, and it's different when she blocking him and he trying to get her attention but don't know how to get through to her. But you know what? The media stuff caused the block. The real, because you it was a fake block in the beginning. It mm. was like, I'm going to break up with you, get your shit together. It was like oh, fake. It was fake, fake. And then somewhere in the distance, we... 
let stop living together. And I think like mom too, he realized like, oh, she's for real. Mm. And I'm blocked on everything. So the first start of it was the YouTube was the beef. So, you know, we was making so much money on YouTube, but he started the channel before we met. Mm. But my thought was as a business person, you started the channel before we met, but you didn't have any content on it. You just had to make a YouTube channel. Probably, you know, sometimes you watching stuff and it say, prove you're 18 and older. You probably just made one. He's not even uh-huh. a person who's on YouTube. Uh-huh. So knowing him, because I laid with him for five years, you just probably made the channel. You never did anything. Now you meet me. We go to YouTube, year two of the relationship. To me, nigga, this is our channel. Uh-huh. This is our channel. That's, that's understandable. The videos on it are ours. Uh-huh. The money, we split the check 50-50. So I felt like after the breakup, and his brain, which maybe y'all men can defend him, but I still don't agree to this day. And his brain, he still says to this day, so the mansion was in my name. The YouTube was in his name. He was like, you left with the mansion. and was like, it's in my name. What are we going to do? Stay here in roommate? No, you got to go. I'm not with you no more. He's like, and that was my fucking channel. So you're going to leave and make all the content in the house. I'm going to leave with the channel that's mine, take all our videos down and keep going. And I'm like, but the... All them hundreds got, of thousands. He subs- got a point. No, though. he don't have a point. He but don't I mean, because it's like they, he, she left with like, when you go into divorce court, even though they weren't married, she left with something and he left with something. She left. But with I a left big something asset. that was in my name though. But I know you left with a big asset that y'all and basically th- together had together. He let you have that, and then he left with a big asset was which is a, rightly his in his name. So y'all just split it and party ways. No, I don't it's agree. It's rightfully That's totally his. Different. It's rightfully his, but. The content was out. What built it? Listen, when you go from zero subscribers to 600,000 and you and your girl built totally it, different. It's, it's, but listen, we what worked if, on that. What if he was to say, okay, I'll help you pay this mortgage over here. Mm-hmm. I'm going to stay downstairs and you're going to stay upstairs. How would you feel about that? I'm on, That's an uncomfortable living. Exactly. It's not reality. So it's We're the same way with him th- thinking about this channel. It's going to be uncomfortable for him to try to split something with you when he can still make money off of it. What he going to do with you if you're not there? But this is my thing. What he, even though this is old, and we not even gonna harbor on that because yeah. we, no, we just playing being our mad yeah, again. Down. We just playing no, our opinions. No, 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 no. We just playing our opinions. We just playing our opinions. We just but playing. For me, lying, I love no, that, man. it don't work like that because you being nice, you really put that nigga on. Period. Point blank. No, and that this mansion is true. was I brought yours. him to social media. Boom. Friend. Let me set that way too. I brought him when I when he met me. I was already hundred thousand followers. I feel you. I was already. Shay room it was in my bag. Down. This is before but you have to see I, stuff I to shade room. Down. But at the same time, you can't God. downplay Mozzie like he didn't and help I'm, contribute to what did. y'all built. He did. Because like he I did. said, he let you put the wigs on him and do all of that to make the content. So you can't downplay him he, like he just ain't. You just put. You said he on. made the what? He he tried on wigs for her. Yeah. Okay. But I'm just saying he but did it's like, stuff. Thank you. But no, I'm just saying. You put a wig on. He did stuff that usually a man wouldn't do just to make content. He don't downplay my boy like he. So let me clarify. I'm definitely not downplaying him. But so me and his situation is very unique, right? Just Mm -hmm. such a public, all of that. But I want to stand in truth, whether he's here or not. So I'm kind of agreeing with what you're saying. But from my perspective, I feel like us, to me, it was common sense. It's like, okay, one of us has to move. We too young to be like, we ain't together. You got to live with me. Like, that is strenuous. It's stressful. It's been five years. I didn't think that was reality. The only thing I was asking when we broke up was, how can you keep a channel that's bringing revenue off of our content? This is not content with you on it. This is our content. So you should still give me my 50 So let me ask you this. Mm-hmm. What, what would you expect him to do with the channel? So if he left with the channel. Take all the videos of us off of it. And, not and make the money off of your content. Down. That's what he did, right? Uh, after I had to kick up dust and we had to go public. Down. That's totally different. Because he was standing on the like, no, this was my channel. You got the house. You did all this. You broke up. And we we had a, a TV situation. So it was that the time. only part was that he was going to leave the videos up and still generate the money every month. And that's, to me, that's just crazy. And I can agree with that. That's insane. I can agree with that. Me now, too. I'm thinking he's taking he the, the channel the cha- and then I'm such a all fair the videos bitch. down. I, listen, I can I'm agree fair. With that. You can have the channel. You can have it. I literally made my YouTube channel, and I had 30,000 subscribers in guess four what? days. When you yeah. build one house, you can build another one. That Easy. Part. Yeah. And I'm Easy. not an ugly person. I knew also, like, 
coming into, I brought him into the social media world. So naturally, when we had a public breakup, everybody naturally sided with me. It was immediate. They're going to always And I was like, hold on, protect him. Like, I just broke up with him. Don't hate him. This is still Mm -hmm. like my best friend that I just had to break up with Mm because he had to grow in a a certain area. So I just thought as a businesswoman, we're going to go our own way. You're going to leave with what you came with, and I'm going to leave with what I came with. We're not married. But I felt like you're leaving with something that you didn't come with, which is I'm looking at all these videos and I know they're bringing in 20,000. They're bringing in more. Why would you leave it up and not pay me to check this coming this month from I YouTube? I get that. I understand that. If so that's how it got public. Content. Yeah. When that money got involved. God, hey. It was like, hold on. What are we doing? Like, and I knew he was hurt. I felt like the way I did it, which was kind of savage, it was like, it's over. It's been five years. It's over. Moved out, blocked him on everything. And I kept it rolling because I have to keep it rolling. Mm-hmm. But I feel like what he did was like, when I made my YouTube channel, it was just like, I'm back. I'm on YouTube. When he made his, it was like, the title for the first two months was Moving On With Miles. I was like, <laughs> are we going to start this? Uh, and then that started and I was like, okay, that was a poke. And I poked him. But you understand that's also like. I'm a nigga at heart, so I can understand, like, when you get blocked and you really in love, he and he can't communicate with you because mm-hmm. y'all got this cut line of communicate. He's just trying to get your attention yeah. in the moments. But, but self-accountability, what I learned in that, I had to self-check myself and be like, wait a minute. You you know you can't be mad and just be like, bitch block, move mm-hmm. around. It's, you got to You gotta communicate because it's like what you do is you will send a man out in the world Damaged, and he really his whole life was built around you yeah. for them five years. Yeah. When you just cold turkey a motherfucker, yeah. they be lost like a for chicken sure. running around with their head cut for off. Sure. And, I could have did a whole bunch and of And making stuff decisions that, that he probably wouldn't have made with the channel and bad decisions. But then a lot of that. these men already come damaged, but I get where you're going you know what with it. You, gotta, you gotta give them that communication and closure. Yeah, That's all for I'm sure. saying. Me, I'm not big on closure and communication. I, but you know, yeah. I love that for you. I think That's closure beautiful. is the door's closed. I yeah, like, for me, my closure is if I wake up and God put it on my heart of what you did yesterday, my closure is you won't speak to me again. Facts. I don't owe you shit. I ain't got to explain Facts. shit to nobody. Yeah. That's my closure. Like, that's somebody but, yeah. that's never been in love, but when you are in love, it, you will so tolerate different. a lot of <laughs> that what you will. Oh, okay, so let me, let me ask you, you, Amy. It be, is. It's real. Amy, for me, right? And yes. I think, because for me, right. my mom, right? Okay. My sperm donor. Right. Got my mother pregnant. Right. She was in love with him. I seen my sperm donor maybe twice. He gave me maybe two broken promises. Oh. And this was the love of my mother's life. She has now been with her husband for 30 years. So I get that people do say, oh, you've never been in love. You've never been in love. But I've seen multiple examples of people in really love, packing up their shit. Uh, yeah. And so love don't always just but stop you right there. It it's you per see person. And a feeling when somebody got your heart, my boy. It That's what I'm different. trying to tell you. You can see this shit all day, but until you really feel it, the stress, is true. the love, the heartbreaks that come along, the disagreements that yeah. really be having your whole day fucked up just because me and my girl had an argument. Yeah. And a nigga whole day fucked up. Your whole, your whole week. First of all, your appetite out, will be gone. It's gone. That's the, the sun can be part. outside shining, but it feel like being raining and cloudy all fucking day. That's you don't it. understand that. That's what I'm it's trying to whole, tell you. Like, let me say, people were so shocked, like, I've never broken with nobody public before. Yeah. I've never had a public relationship. It's like my first real relationship. But people had this thing. They were commenting like, I lost a chunk of fans too now. Everybody wasn't seeing me. They yeah. Girls was rocking with him and a uh-huh. lot of guys. Yeah. But people were like, how did you walk away from this five-year relationship? And it's like, you're having a pool party the first weekend. You're doing this. That's the other thing about love. Like, love will have you so down in the dumps. Even it's like, people were saying, how could you be the one to break up with somebody? How are you sad? Because you don't want to break up with a person you love, obviously, but yeah. you have to move on. But love will have your ass in the dumps. Mm. When I say I went from a size 7 to a 4, I didn't have no appetite. I like When I broke up with him the first week, when he moved out, and it's like my first time coming to the house and being like, no, no, Mozzie's uh-huh. year 5. I don't smell him. It was like your world changes. Because when you love, when you're in love with somebody, because I've loved – some other niggas, uh-huh. but not in love. Uh-huh. But when I when it's really love, it's like you will actually do more stuff that you never said you would fucking do. Mm-hmm. But that one person, because oh love have you so warped, it's so healthy but not unhealthy because mm-hmm. 
I'm telling you, like, after that breakup, I had to really be like, bitch, eat. Mm -hmm. Like, bitch, post something. Mm -hmm. Every time I posted, it was like, where is Mozzie? You're going to regret leaving him. He was a good man. (laughs) Or we think you look better with so-and-so. Or we heard you were dating. It was like, oh, my God. But see, I love love. I love love. And I see my parents be married for 30 years. That's my beautiful. mother, I have never seen my mother cry about infidelities die. She mm-hmm. cried about other petty, stupid shit. And they get into it about petty, stupid shit. So I respect the dynamic of love, but I've also seen my strong black mother pick up her shit and keep it moving. And, keep and so moving. that's what I get from that. And for me, like, I think that's why I really, when it comes down to, because it's so, it's a line, it's a line. of guys hey, out there wanna... who would love to be with me. And when I tell you, I it could be the slightest thing yet. Because no, me. baby, <laughs> you, you won't. Know what, you nobody going to have me dangling. I was nobody has me dangling. I was you would never have me with dangling. the best of the best in that year, that breakup. Dinners, couple trips, like, I don't didn't like you. Like, like, don't it, and it really didn't. This is all mm. in factuality and factualness. But guess what? When I left my ex, which I got to stop calling him ex now because my fiance, although the ring's not back. Down! It's, come, it's getting there to that got point. You, got you. But when I left him, I never left Mozzie and ever was like, it's over. This is rap. I, as a woman, left this man and was like, because I told you a few times I was going to do it, and you didn't think it so was real. So you really was just trying to prove a Get point. Get your shit together. And she sir. told me that. Mel- and she ain't lying. Together. She ain't lying now. Was just I told that at my she, house. But she did Get say she was there together. and she was not talking to him for that point in time. And my, not nothing. Sex, was, nothing. She was, was dead over. serious. And Because guess what? All the years that I'm like, People had it so confused. Like, okay, he got a faithful man. He is so team you. He's everywhere with you. That is fine and dandy. I'm thankful. I'm blessed to have it. But still as a man, you still got to provide a co- level of comfortableness to me. And I felt like when we were coming up in the money, I started realizing we got two different end games from this. Like, I want to be rich, rich. Like, I want to be a mega millionaire with businesses and headquarters. And I noticed, like, Unfortunately, it took five years to see it, but that's the point of time and love. Mm. Five years, I realized after looking at him, I'm like, um, we're starting to argue more. You say, I'm starting to act like your mom. I'm starting to aggravate you. But all I'm saying is, you're buying all this designer. You're buying all this stuff. And we had to go. We need to pay this house off. Then we got the wedding coming up. We got we had four cars at one point, two each. We need to pay off the American cars and the foreign cars. We had a lot of stuff we obtained together. I start realizing, like, dang, I think my end goal is to be, like, financially secure and to, like, have a man who really respects the money. But in his world, he come from a whole different background. His thought process is, if I make 20000 a day, I'm not like you. I'm not going to sit on it like, what if we go broke in a year? He's not on that. He would take the money. First of all, he'd go straight to Saks and be like, I got a video this week. And I would be like, but you got plenty of clothes to wear, Mozzie. And his brain would be like, that's your frugal cheap ass. Me, I'm a look the part. I'm an artist. And I just didn't agree. And it just kept going on. And then we started acquiring more bills. And I was like, so about this wedding, like, how are we doing a wedding if you're blowing all this money and you keep telling me, like, I feel like you need to dress better as an artist. You need to start stepping it up. I'm like, I'm prioritizing right now. God, like, no. I swear to God, the financial is a big part. When it's y'all the not biggest on the same part. part. When y'all mm-hmm. not on the same page, because I can totally understand that. It's And it's like, With men, a lot of us have to grow up. You got to understand, a lot of niggas, they ain't never had shit. So even when they get it... And he he wasn't raised with a father. I'm with you when you're right now. That's true. When they get it, it's hard for them to even fathom how the fuck I got it. Yeah, Mm -hmm. So a motherfucker be stuck in a way, when he know in the back of his mind what he's supposed to be doing, Mm -hmm. it's really just like, I have to shit on these niggas. And it's really like when you get that shit out your head and realize like them shoes, them clothes, them cars... They don't mean nothing. They don't really give a fuck. If you're not giving these niggas none of your yeah! money, they really don't give a fuck I'm about you, what you, you got. Right. And that was, they don't. And that's what I was screaming to the hills. And I realized, me and you about to fall out. I don't even want to do this. So when when I was ending the relationship, I said, hey, love you. I know you love me. I'm still in love with you. But it looks like in this season, you want to be a rapper, an artist. You want to be this guy with all this money in the pocket. And you want to blow it. And you want to look the part. Me, I'm on something else. And we not, it's not really working. We're arguing because, like, I felt like, how don't you get that Mm. we need to pay for this house? How do, how you not get that you should save this and stop buying stuff? We were doing this for so long that finally I was like, hey, 
No, I understand. Go be fresh and go be you and figure out what you want to do because you might find out during a breakup a girl like me ain't the type of girl for you because I'm the type of bitch. I'm on the money. I'm on the credit. I'm on the business. I'm on everything that... I'm on the business side so we don't go back broke. I don't want to look the part and look rich. I wanted to really have it. And I think that my background, I had to realize in that breakup, my background was a mother who is great in money. She's mm. great with economics. Built his credit, built my credit. I had I had a more fortunate background of a person who was like, money, finances, save it, your credit. And when I got with him, it was so frustrating because I'm like, how you're is this to not? Te- you trying to uh-huh. teach somebody uh-huh. that don't understand. That I don't totally understand. And don't, the they rip, wasn't equipped with those yeah, things. Yeah. Wasn't equipped. And in that one year of being away from him, I had to realize, like, I was expecting so much of you to have my background that I never even got a chance to be like, do you know about exactly? Oh, that's that's much more woman well, shit. Patience, the patience I had to learn the same thing. <laughs> and I, but and what? I tell you that I, I had to learn that's the same true. thing. And I started realizing, even in my situation, mm-hmm. I had to be a lot more patient because mm-hmm. the shit I be thinking that's common sense that that you I think you know and should it ain't know. Common for others, they just don't know. It's not. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it just took patience, and it really just probably took him that time to realize I got to be a man. I got to stop playing. Because what if I get my baby pregnant and then I'm trying to spend twenty thousand dollars on this and I really could be preparing for a baby? Like Ooh, I, I almost, totally get it. I almost yeah. blew a head gasping when you just said, "Imagine me pregnant, my first child, and we sit here arguing over it, twenty it, racks and some Gucci." It, I cannot saying? fathom Ooh. that. I, totally I can't fathom it, that. I'm sorry. It ain't but worth I, it. I, and, I, and I'm glad you had this conversation because I don't know if you ever went nowhere and just went this deep before. Not this deep. It's been deep, but. The subject matter, but is it's good. But I like because it though. It's, it's clarity, and it's also like y'all in a better place now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, you saying fiance, so that means like oh you. And I'm all for love. Yeah. I'm all for love, and I'm all for black women being in love. Right. Because since the beginning of the time, black women has not been loved correctly. Since the beginning of the time, black women have not been upheld in a way of like a true relationship with a man that loves her. A lot of them have, but a lot of them have not. So I'm all for, I'm not the the single friend because I think for me, I'm the, I'm so Amy, I'm six, four, 300 and some odd pounds. (laughs) Real but line, I'm so when line. I tell you I'm so secure in who I am as a person, and I'm not be. the miserable single friend. Right. I don't re- I if anything, I'll be trying to help all my friends stay in a relationship because ultimately I don't give a fuck. Right. Because when I go to bed at night, I'm not miserable that I don't have a man. Yeah. And you so know I'm you, all so. exactly. Yeah. So I'm all for love, but I'm just like, I really be for my girls. I be when I tell you I be for my girls because I have been be. there. I have heard the stories. I have been around so many heartbroken black women who have not been upheld in the right way. Right. So when I see a woman being treated right and loved correctly, oh, I'm all for it, 100. Yeah. percent And not only Damn. that, it's just it's Thanks. when you pop out as a couple, it's so career damaging to both sides it when is. y'all don't work out. It's, and oh then it's God. like if you don't explain yourself, the people that follow y'all, they be choosing sides and yes. Because once times when, when I, I they choose the woman. When I went to support him, a girl had DM me and she was like, Well, I guess I could uh go follow my internet cousin again. Cause it was like, fuck him when you was and I was just like, <laughs> I never wanted that. Yeah, like, that's I how I go be though. Yeah, that's, that's how saying. it is. I was like, Oh my god, it's, it was eating him up so bad in yeah. the beginning that I felt so bad. I'm like, I told myself, I was like, I'd never want a public relationship. Cause it's very, After very this, it's too much pressure. You got the whole world like literally Hoping and living y'all life vicariously through y'all. Yes, it's that's weird. true. And a lot a of people that follow you. A girl dumped her baby you. daddy. I swear to God. I swear to God. A girl DM me was like sending me hardcore proof pack. And she was like, you left my eyes and I thought this was perfect. You just gave me the strength to leave my, my baby daddy after seven years. I'm like, no, that is not what <laughs> I want. Girl, I'm going back. I'm going back. Come on, girl, I'm going back. Going back. Like, you going to send me right back yeah, with him. Yeah. And I was just reading the comment like, that is not what I wanted. She was like, Amy, if you could walk away, my baby daddy ain't shit. And I've been here for seven years sending me all these DMs. I'm like, hey, that's not what I want. <laughs> like, girl, I'm going back Because you will be surprised. Listen. What you going to okay. do when I go, you see me pop out with this nigga. Imagine her seeing a little stuff we posted now. She probably didn't unfollow me. Uh-huh, her. like, oh, yeah, yeah. but that's good, though. That's good. Y'all back at it. Mozzie show fun. And, uh, you got to stop doing that. That is a straight man. Uh, no, it's that. okay. Hey, it's okay. In the same way that y'all go after a lot of women that don't want y'all, it's the same thing. And because he's, as long, but no, because it is. he's so straight, that don't offend at all. Nah, no, exactly. Don't offend at all. My, I hear him say this beautiful person, time. you fine. Yeah. I'm sorry. That's just what it is. And backstory, crazy thing is, though, 
And I don't tell. Him. Don't what? Back, chill, guys. What the hell to happen? What you finna say? Why you so on edge? No, what you finna say? I'm finna say backstories. Set the record straight. Because I know you so messy, no, and it just. I want messy. No, no. He didn't show me the messy side yet. Can you pull it I'm, out I'm right now? Oh, it's there. I'm about to get there. Ah! I'm about to get there. So but no, backstory on. with Set the Record Straight podcast, when I first came up with this idea, it's crazy because I just sent him the first logo before we even came out with the podcast and became what it was. I had a conversation with Mozzie and I was like, mm-hmm. hey man, I'm about to start this podcast. You should be a part of it. That's fire. And he wanted mm-hmm. to do it, but I think- Did he, he ever come meet with you? We did a whole thing. I- and the thing this about it is, crazy. <laughs> it's a full this circle. Is fucking but listen, crazy. I he remember was, he was hyped up about this. He was this so last fucked year. up. Yeah, yeah. He was so fucked up about y'all. Break up. He was like, I. He just stopped responding. I know. But it was all good because everything worked out. It's oh all my what God. it is. Do you wow. know? I remember Set the Straight podcast, but I remember he mentioned it. And but it was somebody else though. It wasn't just him. It was you. It was him. me. It was supposed to be me, him, and Clarence. I was trying to pitch it to them. And try to get I us remember to come that. together. And you end up with a sis? I oh, my end- God. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? You end up with a sis? I had to take what I could get. <laughs> a real one. A re- but but you ended up with the perfect person. I had person. to take what I could get, God damn. Oh, you stupid as <laughs> hell. God damn it. No. Not, please, you got the best of the best. Hey. But no, I was trying to bring us together. That would have been a good dynamic, what? though. It, oh. was, it was going, I thought it was going to oh. be good yeah. because we all had a YouTube background. Yeah. You know, I was a previous oh, vlogger, God, YouTuber. You and You would not even believe this. Oh, I can God, actually remember that. where we were living when I'm now seeing your face and seeing showing me stuff, like showing me either the Instagram or something. Yeah. And I remember looking oh. at it briefly. But look, I'm I'm seeing oh. it all now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's oh, it was a, it was a conversation for real, and we oh, was trying to get it together. Exactly. Yeah. But my boy was fucked up about you. He just stopped responding about this podcast shit. He said, "Bro, I'm not in a good place right now. I can't yeah. do that shit." Yeah, he went in a good space. You ate that. You <laughs> ate that. Good. That was good. I was like, "Oh wow." No, nah, but on some real shit. shit, I fuck with you, my boy. Oh, I'm no. joking like Duh. a motherfucker. <laughs> So, Clarence um, and Mozzie Amy. <laughs> down. <laughs> Love them down. They ain't me, though. Look, not too much on my me. My me. My me. My me. Down. Period. Period, sister. Down. You ain't that bad. But playing. listen, sister, let me ask you this. Are you into threesomes? Nope. I never had one. You never had a threesome before? Nope. And I don't want one. But do you think threesomes are important to keep a relationship? Mm-mm. This good ass pussy I'm sitting on. Oh, but what if he's not? Just but what if he comes to you, right? Mm-hmm. And he say, "Okay, babe, I want to do this, right? Mm-hmm. Because I don't want to step out. Mm-hmm. Let's spice it up." I'm interrupted just like this. Later, Mozzie. <laughs> <laughs> and good luck. Really? And be done. So what if y'all been together for twenty years? You don't think that's important to spice the relationship up? I can be honest. I'm a realist. Years down where I could be in a space where it's almost, I don't know, it could be in Cancun, we happen to do it, but where I'm at right now, it's like, what? Wow. What and was why it, what, and why? Was it fucking you up when y'all was broke up and you was like, he probably giving that dick to somebody else? No, but let me tell you though, let me tell you how crazy women are. When me and him got back cool, he was like, you gonna come to my pool party next month. And naturally in my head as a girl, I'm like, Ain't no telling what hoes. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Because I've been you with a man for five years. So Thank I you. know. So I'm like, yeah, I kind of want to see. And it's so crazy. I got there. And uh, if he was here, he'd be like, she ain't fucking lying. All the girls just cool, you know. I'm a girl girl, so uh-huh. all the girls fuck with me. So I'm there. But this one girl who was being too nicey-nicey, sort of God, I walked right into him at the pool bar. I said, you fucked her or you fucking her. He was like. But I ain't gonna cap lose only twice. I was like, yeah, I could tell. His he could not fucking tell. He couldn't believe that I caught out all the pretty girls. I'm like, that's the one you fucked in. You're fucking or fucking. He's like, so shocked. And I said, I could tell you how I know that she's the one out of all them girls standing there. I said, she's being too overly nice to me. And it's too like, come on here, get the like I could tell. Other girls like, hey, bitch. We, bitch, we ain't seen you with him in a year. We want him or mm-hmm. done had him or want him or we just here at the party. But it was her. Her energy was like, do you drink this? Like, it was too nice. And I'm like, Nah, that no, sounds like more like she was trying to get a threesome car popping up. It wasn't even that. She just was so shocked that I was there. Because uh, what women have to know and what men can know too, because I ain't trying to act like I'm just that girl. He's that guy. But what a, a lot of girls have shit. to know 
is that when I pop back on the scene, Damn. you bitches is dead. Home. It's because there's always one that's gonna always you're have to die. You're just dead. You don't even so you could be but temporary. That, that's, that's very subtle because some of y'all will leave and expect the same position oh, no. when y'all come back, and mm -hmm. it don't always work out mm -hmm. like that. I knew that when I left this Scorp Scorpio man, you was going back. That he was running wild. I knew it. I would unblock him sometime. I'll go stalking to read the comments. And go, you know. I'm Make sure you don't hit head. the story so you don't pop up at the top of the feed. I, I remember I hit it on accident once. Oh, time. you had to block Ooh, him quick. Oh, I was so hurt. Oh, God. I was so hurt. And went and blocked him again. Blocked. <laughs> Gotta do it fast. But you could just tell with the girls, like, it's just a thing that's, it's, I don't know if you have to be a woman to know, but when I said it, he admitted it. Then I went just as the girl the next time I went to look on Instagram and I, could, I seen her. I went and looked at her page. But what pissed me off the most. This bitch was from my hometown. Oh, yeah. What? The 313. He, he needed that Detroit. I didn't love even, again. but you couldn't tell because she had been here for a minute like me. But when I looked at her page and saw she was from Detroit, I was like, So you got a little bit of investigative in you. Oh, facts. You a little All investigator. Day. Oh, absolutely. You too busy to be doing wow. shit like that. But that's I'm a never Gemini too busy woman. to unblock Nah, and, and, and guess what? You could be the busiest person in the world. I'll I, be I in tell a you jet this all the time. You don't know what people be doing on their phone. You could be on the flight. You could be in your bed. You, you got a little, you got a little fence to looking ghost page. Down. I'm just trying to see what's seen. You got a ghost page, though? I don't. Not that I you don't have. One? I promise you I don't. Hey. I have an old business page with a name that ain't a name. Y'all know what he know. And I watch stuff from <laughs> That's your ghost page. Oh, it is my ghost page. <laughs> no, but they say it's some Finsta. But I mean Finsta. I never had a Finsta. But what's really a Finsta? That's like a ghost page, right? It's more like this a... This is like your close, close, close. Yeah, page. like my oh, real, see, real, 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 that. real, I real it was style. like your fake Instagram. It is your fake Instagram, but it's like your real friends that know you. I had it all wrong then. Like Got it. Got so you keep that page private. Yeah. <laughs> really? Okay. So basically what we will be doing on the stories. Close friends. Close friends. You put it on your page. Got you it. Got it. Right? Got it. Like, like Why well, might need to get me a fence though? So you lit like that? No, <laughs> not really. <laughs> I'm so much more boring than people think. They be so really? shocked. What? Like, born as far as like, okay, so born as far as like, you not into the kinky, freaky, threesome oh, I'm party. Into that, but I'm not into like, I'm definitely not into the threesome world. Okay. I'm not into. You eat a little ass? No, I'm not. I, I haven't enjoyed that. That's good. <laughs> EBG game? Stay, stay I, I'm way. sorry for me. No, stay I, I that way. I can't picture it. Uh -huh. Stay that way. I'm not into that. My and because it was that, such a big good. topic at one point, uh -huh. naturally in my head, I'm like picturing like, okay, so. Girls are doing it. My homegirl that shocked me said, I do it sometimes. I'm like, not you. <laughs> not the girl that we be sharing Get my blood back, with. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Your booty bag. Your booty bag. Not the motherfucker that I'm drinking alcohol. <laughs> okay, I knew that blood smell. <laughs> not the motherfucker that I let you use my lip gloss stick. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> is the blood stacking today? Damn. It was you. Not, but no, I just, I'm freaky, freaky to the point. Like, I'm really freaky. But I don't think that really freaky is like, I got to eat my man ass. Got it. I get what you're saying. So you will eat a little gooch. Or you will let him eat your ass, but you ain't. You ain't. It's, I, it's a girl's ass. It's so different than y'all. No, I understand. I'm got on it. the same page. Okay. I understand. Yeah. Men should definitely do that for us. Oh, for I'm sure. not eating it. Well, that, that's what they got to agree with you on. Yeah, I mean, oh, I'm going to ask you. I'm going to be honest. You, oh, as you no. Sis. Uh-uh. Air five. Yeah. <laughs> it just take her on to the next level. It's it like does. a rocket ship. It's shit. crazy. And I do it at the perfect time. But just what, just imagine just like what the, it could do for, for him. You. But you know what's weird? This is crazy. I don't want to see Mozzie like swarming. Yeah. Ooh. And I think I think I it's a little weird. Him. I think it's a little weird that you just kind of stripping a man of his masculinity when you kind of put his legs behind his head. And well, it don't. Well, my it's different positions, my book. She don't because I asked that. She said, "Girl, I don't do that." Yeah, he would never let behind no head, baby. You so old school. So what is like? I don't your know. I'm just saying it. That, it's just weird for me. I can, I'm never. Well, let's talk that about that. it. So basically, <laughs> <laughs> so basically, some guys don't have their legs up. They will be on their knees, or a girl giving them head. They'll oh, that's play. still a little weird. Knees. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a little weird. He's a knee -knee. So you know, I would be uncomfortable if my guy ever came to me and was like. That's what he wants now. Because after so long and not having it, my brain is naturally thinking like, where did this kink get? 
Who turned you on to it? When did it come about? Yeah, what girl I ate your like, ass and now you want me to do it? That's a but big But wait, so question. Amy, so if your man came to you, y'all been together for a long time, y'all have a good, fluid, healthy life of making love, mm -hmm. and he came one day and said, babe, I want you to eat my ass. lick a little ass back there. You want to do it? We, we got to talk about the depth of how does the sentence flow out of his mouth? <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear it. Put up a picture of this country, nigga. How would he, how he introduce this he sentence He said, I want to try... Getting I want you to go toss. from the bike because he's on a bike. So I want you to eat it from the bike. Yeah. <laughs> now, the thing about That's it how, is... First, I'm going to adjust myself <laughs> and just stare him in his eyes for at least 10 seconds. I just want to... I want to know uh -huh. if he's serious. What, uh -huh. what happened? I'm not... I'm just... Like what you like, but that would be something I would wonder, like, when did this come about? Because we have such a great, crazy sex Got life. it. I get what you're saying. What the hell happened where we need to take it to that level? Try it something was... different. So do you well, think... Well, hang me up. Put me on a Christmas tree. Got it. Okay. Put the ornament in my ass or something. Got you it. Okay. Got that Christmas Make green me the present. <laughs> you definitely got the Christmas green on. You feel me? Yeah. Hang a bitch up. Glaze me like a little turkey. Do some weird shit to me. Put some yes, butter in it. it. Oh, put some butter in it. I don't know. But okay. Don't get weird. Butter I gotta me? Get it on you. Okay. Yeah. But okay. I'm just saying though, would you think he's bit. like a little? Boy? Would you start thinking like this might be a little gay? No, I wouldn't. I would think that he just like, shit, let's turn it up. He is a person who likes porn. I don't even watch porn. I don't like porn. Do you get mad when he watch porn? I don't, but to me it's gross. Like when Why? I come in and I see, I just. You don't call I, It's like I smell it. Yeah, you'll watch it. You can smell what? I, I don't, it's something about it. You it's, smell I the lotion like in the smell, air like it's too much going on? I'm a digital thinker. I think everything digital. So when I see stuff, I picture like. Their sense and stuff. Like, if depending on how the person look, I my brain be like, I wonder is she clean or is he clean? I just nasty always have my nose up when I walk in and be like, Are you done, sir? You done? Mm -hmm. And it just be right there on the TV, and I just sometimes will look at it, and they'll be spitting and licking it up, and I'll be Ooh. like, I cannot deal with it. Yeah, you can't do my man. You gotta give him his Oh, price. that's why men we need a man cave. We need our own little area. Sometimes, you know, you just need to be by yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, What's the jack off and stuff? I mean, if you want to do that, or you just or to watch your porn. Sometimes we just want to stroll on Instagram and watch twerk videos that my girl may not want me to watch. I don't give a damn about no and twerk I get videos. That. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't care about him watching no twerk videos. I'm yeah, just it's saying. just it's That's, depending on. But he you, can't do that like right next yes, to you, like he just can. ass and he ass, does. Ass. He can and he does. My thought, listen, I'm a whole different type of breed of girl. I don't think that when a man partners with a woman, or a man partner with a man, or a woman with a woman, woman, I don't give a damn what you doing. Because you partner with somebody, don't take out their, don't pull out their natural instant. You just are my man, but mm -hmm. you're still a man. And I Fact. think as long as you got eyeballs, mm. I appreciate Mozzie being able to see and look. It's like, because I'm a girl. You think I don't, I got eyeballs. I see a guy. He's Don't attractive. I always say that? I go scrolling through attractive guy. I'm a girl. I'm just your girl, but... When, because I became your girl, did it mean, bitch, don't look at no other fine nigga Instagram with a shirt off working out? I'm still a girl, but oh, with but him, you have respect. Yeah. I would not, listen, I think that's actually crazy when girls be like, no strip club, don't look at twerk videos. Like, bitch, because he dating you, he can't use his eyeballs and you, have a great You would never mind. know the real nigga that he is until you really get to know the side he is around his homeboys and vice versa. A lot of women... Don't even be they self around a man. Mm. They be married to a nigga for years, and she go around her homegirls be a whole nother type of person than she is at home. Yeah, because mm. she can't even let that side out. Yes, you don't I even know your I wife. Just you don't even know her. She trades with the football team. She done been out here fucking two dicks, three dicks at yeah. one time. Yeah, but she would never let you know that because you never opened that door up for her because you made it. For and some people, when they come to relationships, they make you feel like you in prison. Like yeah. I get having respect one hundred percent. I get that there's certain things that you're not into. I understand right. that as yeah. well. But when it gets to feel like you in prison and y'all can't go to the script club that's and terrible. do normal, that's uh, nobody wants to be in a relationship like that. It it's is, not fun. Now, now let me tell you my one rule though. My one thing. Uh -huh. This is just one. And I can't wait to, if, if y'all have them up here, if you have them whenever. For sure. Or sex or whatever. I got to connect now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, like, you will understand, me and Mozzie are literal twins. Like, mm -hmm. that's my best friend. Some days it'd be like, this is so weird. Like, you're like my best friend, my brother, but I'm so crazy over you. But we're so in one. Like, wig off, no makeup on. Might shade a pussy one day. Might see a wolf for a month. Uh -huh. I'm in my mood, but Mozzie is so my person. 
he just be like, whatever it is that you physically like or want to do, I'm not trying to like imprison it. And I feel like the same thing with him. We we're, we're in this age where it's you become my partner. So be blind and only see me like it's not reality. Got and it. it's not even a life to live. To have a man, this this is my perspective, ladies. They probably eat me up in the comments eventually, knowing I don't give a damn. But your nigga needs to be able to date you, be faithful to you, but still be a man. And because your man is on social media and he's looking at twerking videos, he's a man. Mm. Don't he like your ass? Thank you. He likes ass. He's a man. He's a straight man. He like ass. Bitch, why would he not get on Instagram and look at an ass? He ain't going to get on there and look at a dick. So it's like, what the hell? Mm. The only, my only thing that I'm against is liking inappropriate stuff because yeah, to I don't me do that. Yeah. I can look at men and he know that I look online I'm fans of different attractive men but guess mm -hmm. what you won't ever see me liking it down and I think that's so disrespectful I see I see my a couple of my friends that I know that's married it's terrible. and I will be just on I don't even follow the chick and I see there. a girl and I click the picture I can almost 98 percent this nigga don't like the picture and I just be like bro like what? what this shit is weird at this point it's so weird for you to be married and liking every chick picture. Uh -huh. ass and it'd be picture. some of the most inappropriate Instagram shit. That would offend me if Mozzie did that. That's that's a I social can't media that. thing that we don't do. I don't even like girls' pictures, period. Like You don't even period? like nobody's stuff, period. I'm going to be honest. I don't because... So he only show you no love? No, he don't like nobody's stuff. The thing about it is, I just got in a habit of not like. It's not like I'm. I see it. Trust me, I see oh, it. Oh no, I see. I know you. Well, you see, see it. You supposed to tap no, it. No, but it's 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 very like, especially with him. Like, <laughs> he be posting sometimes. These folks already think I'm gay because I do this podcast. <laughs> hey, dude. I'm gonna be, that's how I, small I, small let's people let's are. for a second. Like, these folks already think I'm gay. <laughs> I go to gay clubs with him sometimes just because I try to be a good friend and be in his world. And because you know you straight and it don't matter it don't where you are. You know what I'm saying? But that don't, I still get 10, 15 DMs from gay niggas on a daily basis. Like okay. last night, we went to traffic. I woke up this morning with 20 DMs <laughs> and my fucking request message. Be flattered. And it's I was with my girl. It's okay. So it's like, I don't superstar, I see superstar, stuff, down. And I, he know I see it, but I try to not like like it and comment because then it just get a little. That. No, and I'm gonna be I, I when I say that just now, I'm not necessarily because I get fifty thousand likes. I don't need your one, but I'm just saying in <laughs> <Down>. general. <laughs> down, <laughs> down. Down. I'm, I'm not just talking yeah. about me. I'm just saying in general, like you know, sometimes I really I'll be don't, saying, don't make like sure you it. like this. Make sure I, I'm not talking about me. I get it. Yeah, 100%. I don't really like because I do post explicit things, and at the end of the day, you still are a straight man. Yeah. So I'm not expecting you to just but be I liking all my, my shit. Boy to the Die, yes, yeah. you do. That's my boy. You know what I'm saying? And because you're so confident, I'm a heterosexual man. That's my boy, you know, though. Yeah. Your friends, your friends I may be gay, them. but you know what you yeah. are. So I wouldn't care about. And sometimes comments. I do like this stuff. Like it just yeah. depends on. Yeah, here we maybe once how, a blue moon, how, how once a is. month. If it's, Sister, if it's the once level, a month. If it's the level of gay that he. Because I do it. post some so crazy level shit. Four gay is cool. It's four more, and no, it's, my, it's more like two point five. Like, the two point five. Yeah, you but can he, handle but he four. always on level ten. So it's Duh, like, it's I, and no. I can't even. But I, now Sexy I don't, don't always post explicit things. Now, no, bro. it's just like I can't. I don't want people going scrolling on Instagram and see your post and you doing a walk twerking and they see Vaughn like and come and say, hey, bro, good job. Like, come on. Like, Got it. I understand. Yeah, I feel yeah, you. Yeah, I understand. But completely. that's all he really posts. So, I understand. You know what I'm saying? And then I, a yeah, lot of my that. messages are geared towards women. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, like, why would you be on the post? I understand. Exactly. Completely. I really, that was just a little dig, but you yeah, know, I was yeah. like, idiot. But sometimes it could be a comment like, that's a different perspective. Okay, let me think about that. Yeah. Or is that gay from your, from on his? I'm not comments. saying it's not gay for me to like his shit. Like for real, for real. If I I really don't give a fuck. Like if I really if I yeah. really want to like this man shit, I go on my phone right now and like everything uh, hard out of shit. Tell a nigga I love him on the post because I really fuck with my boy. And I nah, love him. that's you my boy. Saying? Yeah. And but it's just like just for the purposes of the brand, I just be like, hey, these niggas already think I'm gay. I don't want to give these niggas no more ammunition. To come Absolutely, to I understand. And I. I you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. One hundred percent, and I get that. My mind is going crazy, and I'm thinking something is totally left field. I think too. So this is really random, but you know how y'all are a couple. I'm a clown, so like going forward, when you have female guests, I think like subtly people should know that's your girlfriend. Because let me tell you, me, I'm a aggravating flirt. Like I won't even want you. Lo, tell you, 
I be fl- I'm gonna say something. But I'm so glad when you set the tone that was your girl, it set the whole conversation different. Because I'd have been throwing jokes at you and hitting you with stuff. Yeah. They would have choked you up on your own podcast. No, you I know mean, how awkward that would have been? I usually do that. Like He do, though. So a girl, like every girl here should know. Because no, they do. you're an attractive girl, but you got a beautiful girl. We should respect it. And if we know, like, oh, that's his girl. But we they sit on all the childish jokes a little bit. That's what he You said, oh, okay, got it. Yeah. I, listen, <laughs> I, took, I took about 10 jokes out. Duh. No, no. Yeah, I, I, call, I called the FaceTime when you said, uh, what's up with the Pistons? I'm like, it ain't even basketball season. That's me being annoying. I know. But see, that was a flirt, but it was not a real I one. I get it. It was yeah, definitely not real. I get what you're saying, because on the phone, it. I'm like, what about the Pistons? Girl, it's football season. It was just me. You would have said that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, hey, I'd just be aggravated. I, I, get it. It. I can imagine a girl coming up and thinking you've been like, he's a host, and thinking sis just do her thing and saying, it's like, bitch, his whole fiance. Uh huh. But he, well, one thing about it, he going to tell you. Yeah. He is going to tell you. Okay, so you do let the girls know. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, for sure, for sure. And he makes sure he introduces her as, this is my fiance. And she don't no, like I me. Had to ask. And don't call her girlfriend. Friend, I had to ask. She don't like, oh. Down, you right. Yeah, she, she, and I knew to ask because I felt the energy like. Down, oh, for sure. But let me make sure before yeah. I start cracking. Oh, and jokes. I love that. And I love I, that. I, honestly, I couldn't even find a moment to be messy with you for real, for real, because you such a real person. Like, <clears throat> the conversation, like, it's hard to find women that have these type of dynamics that she has. Absolutely. And guess what? That's why when Chaotic was here, Chaotic, this is who he was talking about. I don't know if you remember, he was like, one thing about Amy, that's one girl I don't know if I'll be able to. <laughs> Work her. She's a different it's type of different. breed of a woman. I swear. She I was looking for different. the moments, and it's just like, she's talking some real shit. I can't even sit here and play with her like that. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. some people that sit here, I find the moments, because I know, like, girl, you on some bullshit. Like, yeah. Whatever. So, how, so how I'm, much I'm of you... I'm not jokeable. No, I'm not saying No, you're very jokeable. You're just on some real say, shit. Like, you very relatable. Ouch. It's very down to earth. It's very But relatable. since the being that you are such a real person like that, how do you go from being, like, really living your life as a real person to doing reality TV? Because some things you may not be able to really be able to walk in your... Mm-hmm truth of being like a real person because they want real yeah. but sometimes it's just the real on the way of they want it yeah, to be real so it. how do you how does that work for you honestly it's a job and i picture me working at my nine to five being fake and not liking my co-workers there mm-hmm. and hating my boss and not want to do this i clocked in at that mm-hmm. nine to five for years to get that check i'm clocking into love and hip-hop for the check it's just it's literally a job it's just a different job because it's a tv job absolutely but when we done and they unmic me i'll be like check Mm-hmm. And run crazy Dow. world and talk about everything. Uh-huh. But you gonna talk about damn if I do, damn if I don't. Absolutely. So I just be like, check. Absolutely. Yeah, it's just Absolutely. check. I just it's the reality world. So I kind of knew I was already a person who watched the show. I'm mm-hmm. a reality TV fan. Mm-hmm. So if I'm on TV or on YouTube, I'm typically watching some old reality or I'm watching documentaries. I only watch them too. So I knew what I was coming into the show, mm-hmm. like the show signing up for it, but I think being in it and being like, wow, y'all bitches is mm-hmm. for real. So when the cameras come on, they really, uh. It really be like, just walked in with this silly heifer here. Uh-huh. And, hey man, you look so pretty in that black. I love that dress on you. And then 30 minutes later, when we done eating and it's mic'd up and the camera on, you walk past the same person be like, what's up sis? Like, getting in camera. And I be like, cause I'm still getting acclimated uh-huh. to this. Mm-hmm. I'm the, the newest. And I be like, because I be want to take it personal, because yeah. in real life, we don't act bipolar and be yeah. friends one day, but this is reality world. So now, my whole mentality, I'm I'm a whole different girl as soon as they mic me up. I'm not the real me when they yeah, mic me up. The real me is, TV. yes, the real me is like, are we friends? Let's be consistently friends. I'm not going to play you out on camera. I'm not going to do nothing that's going to embarrass you. Yeah. But now that I've been thrown out, and a couple of the girls that I thought fuck with me did me that way, I was like, oh, bitch. Now you didn't know the other half of me. And and I've heard so Let's many people I've game. heard so many people say that and I've heard people say I've heard I think it was Claudia Jordan she said what she learned was going into situations making up in real life with your friend it's like let's talk about it. Okay, how you felt, you made me. But with TV, you are making up to get your moment. It's not a real That's makeup. It. I'm going into mm. the scene to get my moment. I don't really give a damn if we friends or not. And when we done, it be like awkward. Like, bitch, I got my check off you. You got your check off me. But stay your ass over uh-huh. here. You know, that ain't normal. Uh-huh. That's not a normal uh-huh. circle. But imagine everybody is webbed and against this person. is Like, even down to the whole chaotic situation, uh-huh. me and Erica Banks, like, 
yeah, the TV kind of turned into something real. But at the end of the day, to be honest, I could be friends with both of y'all. I uh -huh. could, but I understand what we doing, and it's yeah. like I'm back with my ex. Like, but this shit, it's a check, y'all. Uh -huh. So he was really check. trying to get the draws in real life. Factual, honey. Look at me. Nah, well, not, not you. Look at me. Look at me. Facts. <laughs> look at me. You the fuck look over there. <laughs> <laughs> look at me. <laughs> let me see so that titty look better. <laughs> Baby, what you thought? <laughs> but guess what the gag was. Ain't get nothing. Down. Oh. He ain't even get a sniff of the Gucci? No, nope. unless he smelled that chair every time I left his house. Oh. It was the only sniff of whiff of you. Yeah. Down. Exactly. But what happened with Erica Mena? Because is she like, you think they're going to revisit that conversation again? Or is she like done, done? Oh, nothing happened with Erica Mena besides um, black women are monkeys to her. And you had to get off of primarily black ass because we're monkeys. Wow. It was just simple. Uh, and, uh, amongst a bunch of other things. That have been said about black women in terms of nappy heads or nappy head children are ugly. You just gotta Google. Mm. People don't use Google. Mm. You just Google two is names. These recent comments or this is just stuff she said over a period of time. Over a period of time. They kind of caught up. Got it. But it caught up because it's always gonna catch come yeah. back on you. And it's real. It's really real. And although I can say in one breath, I'm a girl's girl. I love. I'm a girl girl. I love mm -hmm. people to get their bags. I'm a black woman at the end of the day. Absolutely. And we have put we have put different ethnicities and races amongst our mix and in situations where they begin to feel like they are better. Little nappy head, little girl, saying? you ain't sitting up here with me. Yeah. And if you got away with it so many years on TV, from this network to this network to this platform, you develop a sense of they're not going to protect y'all black asses. Mm -hmm. I've been saying stuff like this for years, Thanks. but now that you've said this, the networks have went back and just lined up all the shit you said, and it's almost mm -hmm. like. You know you can't sit with us now, right? Fact. So they had no choice because who how you, who gonna film with you? Exactly. And so for me, I feel like I understand getting upset, saying things that are hurtful, because mm -hmm. I could go to the depths of hell too. Facts. But it's a difference in saying things that are racial. It's a difference in using things as a racial slur. It's a Fact. whole different dynamic into saying, I hope you die too. Because you're or not something just on that level. One Crazy. Person, you attacking one person. Absolutely. You attacking culture. a whole community. You know so saying? you really feel like those insults were coming from a racial place or a place of hurt and I'm trying to make you feel some type of way as well. It came from a racial place and I can say this, being that I'm on the cast and I'm dealing with these women, if Bambi, Sierra, if any other other women on the show had have been arguing with Spice, our comment wouldn't have been a monkey. We just mm. wouldn't have. But if you had to put a white person on there or a Latina or somebody else is not a black person, mm. That's they best dig. Nappy head, black, African booty. It's the lowest one. So it was definitely racially driven because you have to remember. She mentioned your your you talking about your son that don't like you. Well, we all know Spice kids were in Jamaica and she was uh, transitioning to move out here. And she had people who was taking care of her mm -hmm. kids. And guess what? She bought the mansion and got her kids here. But she was in a situation in a moment where Spice is living here. She's bringing her business here. Her kids are coming next week or mm. a month later. But sh she got the kids. Mm. When Spice made that comment about her kid, Erica could have simply said, your kids was in Jamaica for a little minute, but you went somewhere that was just so low. It was almost like, I, I believe in an eye for an eye. So if I say, you mean your son don't like you? Nine times out of ten, I'm going to come back and say, you mean your son that lives so like, I'm going there, but mm -hmm. I'm not gonna. Uh, to to me, it's like this: we arguing. You are a gay man, and mm -hmm. I'm a woman, mm -hmm. and we arguing. You say, "Uh, bitch," because your your lace don't be laid the way you think it do, bitch. And I come in and come in with some stuff about gay sissy punk. What are you talking about? Like exactly. that's another. What are you that's talking about? That's a whole about? community. That's mm -hmm. not personal. It's a community, and it's so personal, and it's disgusting. Yeah. And I feel like you arguing with a gay guy, be on the surface of what he on. But when you start getting low and getting nappy and monkeys and sissies and fag, all that language is no room. It's hateful. Yeah. And we just got to like, people have to know, like, Down. we setting up for it. It's not okay. Because mm -hmm. if she was white with blue eyes, it would be a whole nother outrage. And I keep telling people, people say, how can she be racist when she has a black baby father? 
a girl can like a black dick don't mean she like your nappy head ass. And I tell no. people that all the she time. She don't like you. Yeah. She likes I, his I tell, dick. I like, tell people that all the time. Just because you, just because a white person, if it's a man or a woman, just because they fucking somebody that's black, just because they marry somebody that's black, does not mean they're excluded from being racist at all. You gotta even. I'm always say the history, even though we say we ain't living in the 1800s. The slave masters, they had kids by the slaves. Mm-hmm. All and would the time. hang your ass just That's as how quick. I became light skinned. Facts. My fifth generation granddaddy, he was a white man. Mm. See? See? So you gotta understand. I always thought a piece of Asian, but. Okay. <laughs> but anyway. I don't know. I can see you told it. I can don't see it. Start with I'm not looking that way. But we, I can see. Hey, Amy. I'm not we looking. can go there if y'all want to go there today. Because we, I, I, really, I really had ice. shit in my fifth pocket. I wasn't going to pull out of it. I said. All right, let's look. I'm not listening to you. Goddamn. I, I, really I was really keeping it PG. You were going to go in on me, man. I was going to go on everybody. Go in on him. Give me your best shot. Give me your best shot. Because I stay ready. I ain't even going to do that. Chop a loaded. Give me your best shot. Are you enjoying it, sister? Are you enjoying Do I you feel it. like it is conducive to your career? Because I've seen oh, some yeah. people going there and they love it. It's amazing. And then some people are like, ah, yeah. wish I would have never did it. You, for them to see, see I, I've spoken on this before on the platform. Love and hip hop has come for me three times. The mm. third one made sense. The first two, great opportunities, but it was not showcasing. I'm an artist for real. Mm-hmm. Like, People had this thought of, you're not really a talented artist until you got your number one and popping. I would eat these hoes uh-huh. in real life, but uh-huh. we all got our season where you finna see soon. Down. It's gonna Thanks. be like, oh, remember her? Uh-huh. You finna see. Absolutely. So me talking to the execs, it's like, all oh, that's cute and fun. I'm willing to be a part of the, I don't want to name, no animals right now. Uh-huh. I was about to say, I w- I'll be a part of the circus act, uh-huh. the monkey show, but uh-huh. I can't say that no uh-huh. more. <laughs> so uh, I'll be a part of the circus, uh-huh. but you're going to have to highlight the music. You're going to have to highlight my brands. I'm a business owner. I didn't buy mm. no mansion off of sitting on my ass. Absolutely. I'm a business owner. Absolutely. So in the beginning, it was almost like, uh, but we want you to kind of be on this story. And when they came, it was like the rap, the music, the businesses, the family, the momager, your mom manages you, did it I? Now let's talk about some money. It mm. makes sense. So anytime that I'm on there filming, I'm, I'm sorry, anytime I'm on there filming, I play with these hoes a little bit on the show. Uh-huh. And give yeah. them a show. A, but a, a I play walk. with them after you cover what I got going Absolutely. on. Because we know that you can come on here and give too much and you can be really canceled out because the light is not shown good or you don't got enough going on mm-hmm. or something come out, which we just seen it happen mm-hmm. to old girl. Mm-hmm. So for me, if I'm going to step up and 50-50 every time I come on set, almost cancel my career because I might cuss you out. I might be Mike and say something like, uh-huh. it got to be worth it. You got to cover the business side. Absolutely. So it, it's working out for me. It's not a lot of business women on the show. Mm-hmm. All of them aren't business minded. Some are on there to, let me get my viral moment. And I'm having to learn to be like, you're one of those girls. Got I'm it. learning to coexist with them type of girls because typically it'll be like, not physically, but yeah. for real. Yeah, down. It'll be, uh, bitch, sit down and stop playing uh-huh. with me, okay? Uh-huh. But now I got to be like, okay. wow. I um, never thought I would be this close in proximity of a girl like you who can cut it on and off, be mad at me today, nice to me tomorrow, unfollow me or talk shit, and then it's like, hey, you want to shot Amy? This is all weird, uh-huh. but we're in the twilight zone uh-huh. now, so mm-hmm. I'm making a do, baby. The coin is going in the bank account, and it's it's making sense for now. Yeah. For and, now. And last thing on the show, do you, um, being that they aired it, do you think that they should have fired her, though? Because that everybody been up in arms about that, like, yeah. why would they air it and then turn around and Fire her. How do you feel? Because that is like a that's a little sticky. messy. It's kind of like you put me in a position where I can't even go get another job. Well, so now this is the part where it's, it's a little legal. So I got to be very mindful got of this it. segment. Okay. But the most I can say is TVs are programmed and set and commercials and ads are already bought got it. and okay. spent. We go. And it's that's... already going. So you can't be like, halt. Because the, uh, this affects the next show to come on after us and the show that comes before it. It's so much, y'all. But Because I was thinking at first, like, oh, my God. But then talking to people, they're like, this has already been paid. This is done. This is God done. You cannot. Because what you going to do once you take, what are you going to do? We're on a it's schedule. All a it's all a business. Yes. Yeah, so, Absolutely. But 
It I kind of like how they did it, honestly. <laughs> Damn. I feel that's the petty in me. I feel like stop playing with black women. Stop. Like, oh, most stop definitely. Stop playing with us. Because, you know, it's so crazy that they always like to put black women at the bottom or come with these jokes. But as soon as something happens, especially men, they huh. always like the exotic. They always like the Brazilian in the mix and all these different races. But as soon as something go down, the only time they want to respect a black woman is when they need a black woman to march. Exactly. Or when they need her to hold them down. That's the only time. And black women always come and save the day every And gotta be the anchor. Time. And gotta be the anchor. Always. Always. But then if we, while we anchoring and being a strength, we also got to not be too loud and vocal about us being vulnerable because now you an angry black woman. It's Duh, it's never again. a win. You but almost I, be like, which one do I think black women are in a really, really good position. I, I can even say in my own life, I think I got my grind and my hustle from seeing my grandmother give mm. and go to work every day. Duh, oh, that, I, I lo- that, that is so... Uh, that's real. Lie, it was moments when I was growing up, my daddy wasn't there, my mama wasn't there, but to see my grandmother get up and go to work every day consistently, I'm so that shocked. put consistency in me to be like, wow, you got to make it happen. I ne- Vada, that, but I, that's, that's real talk. So I feel like is, black women are in a good position. It's just certain people that try to downplay it. But God, but we're, it, we are in a good position, but I can say that culturally we all just watched What's been happening to black women? Because our experience is is real different. Like y'all be on some bullshit sometimes too. Cause we that do kidnapping shit was some bullshit. Ooh, that set us back when she that upset Cause me. Cause y'all got ten steps ahead, but then now when you say you've been kidnapped and raped, ain't nobody gonna believe it. Nah, but they was looking for a reason to not believe it. That kidnapping shit that went on with her, that's the type of shit that goes on My all nigga, the time. It made Those type of no. Moves. But what but I'm telling lied. you is, and it's you right. But you can't use her lying about that kidnapping Bang. situation no, saying, to say that she pushed black women back a hundred years. The no, society. Mm-hmm. no, but they even in society, don't the, reason, you but anyway. the reason, but the reason why society is saying it because like so- society is looking for a reason to say, oh, black women are pushed back a hundred years. That was one black woman that speaks for one black woman, and that was her experience. It's white women that lie about type of things like that all, all day, day Emmett long, twenty four seven. Exactly, I I e Emmett Till. No. They didn't, they didn't, she didn't put black women back at yeah. all. No. She just lied about her situation. Mm-hmm. I love my black girls. And it's then bad. You know what it is, too? If he always a nigga behind the shit. Uh, like, now, I'm, that's the unfortunate uh, part. The unfortunate part is she did all this shit just to goddamn black women. get the attention of the nigga because he wouldn't even want to be with her no more. Black they, women uh, have been told that we are so strong and we are so weak. We're just resilient, right? And so it's this thing where when it comes to other races, particularly lighter complected women. The black community for a long time has said that they're, they look better than us. This has been a conversation with typically black men where you will date a a woman who is a Latina, Spanish, whatever. And once you get with her, is this something happens where they start to feel like you nappy head heifer. He don't want y'all no more, but it's, we, it's a conversation that needs to be had, but I feel like when women have it, black women, it's like, oh, God, here are the light skin versus dark skin conversation, but it's a real thing. Uh, I think it's more so like this. I feel like a lot mm-hmm. of, and I don't I don't want to get counseled at all, but I'm going to just speak my truth. I feel like a lot of dark skin complexion women, y'all go through a lot of trauma, whether it's with baby daddy trauma, ain't have a daddy um, always being judged, getting picked on by the light-skinned girls in school, so it's mm-hmm. already insecurity. So you had a certain type of masculinity about you, and a lot of times mm-hmm. niggas can't handle that shit. Mm-hmm. It really just be on some shit like niggas don't know how to handle dating a nigga in a female body. But women are only niggas acting like niggas because y'all not stepping it up. And that, so we, be so we have to too. reverse our roles and be like, because trust me, every black woman would love to be able to be soft life. Cause I like soft life. I like. I am the girl. I want to be up in the mansion, pulling up in my pink Barbie whip, not stressed out in the soft life. Every woman wants that, but typically because of the trauma that the black man has been, <clears throat> you not you because I don't know your dynamic, but the, the the trauma that the black man has been through and the stuff that he's been derived from. And de- I'm sorry, deprived from that trauma already starts. So we don't even know how to really coexist to start it. So now you got me with a little more attitude because you didn't have a father figure. Oh, I didn't have one either. Mm-hmm. So now it's like, you don't but, know how to be a man, but thing, I don't man. know how to we respect both, the man. Well, because we both I don't broken. Have... So, but that don't mean you got to not leave with your femininity to understand yeah. you still got to let your man be a man. 
I can understand. If he being we, a man, we down. Broke a lot of men don't know if how to be. If he being man. one, and that's I understand. Because being a man is not just providing and having the dick in at the all. We, uh, and I totally. And they I'm barely the have that. that a lot of them time, barely have that, sister. Even if the man this is broken, is a lot comment. of us didn't have our daddy. A lot of us was on in the same vice versa on the female side. Right. Y'all still gotta lead with the femininity for him to even figure it out to become who he need to be and form into that. And I feel like a lot of men. They probably go with the different races and the exotics because those women give the man the opportunity to build himself. But that's an issue within, to me, black men in general. It's for your sisters who anchor y'all, hold y'all down, are there, and then you get one or two that's kind of like, okay, she got to add. Because some got nasty attitudes. I'm a mm-hmm. black woman. I mm-hmm. live around it. Mm-hmm. But it was that bad that you said, actually, I'm done with black women. And you know it what? It, sir, it you can't know what it, be like that. It really, what it really be, though, it really be the... Baby mamas. That's what really be fucking it up for you. But I think a lot of times, too, a lot of black women don't give a damn about men going to other races. It's when you go to those other races and then you try to downplay what I've done and you try to downplay how I've held you down. And a lot of times your mama don't look like them foreign girls. Your auntie don't look like them foreign girls. It's not about a lot of black women caring about men going to Brazilian and foreign women. It's when you get with those Brazilian and foreign women and you make it seem like the black woman is not enough. You make it seem like her hair is not beautiful enough or her skin complexion a lot of them women don't give a damn go and have fun at the end of the day you're gonna like what you like it's the difference between having a preference and then trying to down yeah. the same people that have held you down and made sure you was good because a lot of the communities we come from it was the black women holding it down it was the black women making sure that you was up and able to go to school when your daddy wasn't around Thanks. we come from so many households with absent men so i don't be thinking that it's the black women caring about a black man wanting a preference we all have preferences because i have preferences too but they like to get brand new and go to the foreign girl and act like your mama not as dark as the TV. Your neighbors is not as dark as the TV. Your sister is not as dark as the TV. Mm-mm, and this mm. is not what you raised around. And now you acting brand new because you got a couple of dollars. But really, they what, just but blow me. You, since we go in there, really what it be is, it typically be the man as black as this mic. Stop! That don't like yourself, how you look. So you have to water it down. You mm. had to cut it. You had to cut that dope a little bit because you was like, I refuse to have a little black boy with the same piece of hair Dow. with this big ass knows I got to water it down. It's so much that happened in history with black women. But but backing up a little bit about what you said, black men getting with women who are not black women, you could just date. We don't care. Women, I got homegirls today, white men. I've hung out and dated, frolicked with one, didn't date, but I frolicked around. And when you decide to date whoever you want, it's okay. But you are, as a black man coming from a black woman, you and as a black woman coming from a black woman, you are never supposed to sit in another race's face, family table, and talk about your people. On oh God, At you're all. never. Now I don't that care. I agree on. And and I just I got I just talked to Safari about this because a clip came up and somebody was like, "Well, you and Safari are cool. We seen this video to show her saying, I don't care about y'all nappy head ugly kids." And I said, I just don't believe Safari sat there during that video because I know him. He's really Jamaican pride strong, mm-hmm. and I know him. And when they showed me the clip, I'm really hurt. I had to call him. I really called him and said, bro, I got a question. I just sat with the cast and just watched a clip of you and Erica at your house, and somebody said, can I see the new house, Erica? I want to see it. Or y'all can get some animals, y'all, whatever. I want to see the new house. And where the kids at? She said, stop asking about my kids. We, I don't ask about y'all little ugly, nappy-headed ass kids. And Safari was sitting right there and didn't say nothing. And I just, it it bothered my spirit. But I don't, you can't still can't blame him for that. Because you got to understand, that's a firecracker. He probably would just ain't want the problems that day. So you hoeing up as a black man. I don't, I don't feel like, like that. that's hoeing up. I just feel I don't like, like it. I feel like... <laughs> You, she's unpredictable. If he get into all of that, then it make. But she can be him. unpredictable. But you, as a black man, are predictable. So you feel and like. I'm a so what you saying? That he should have just checked her. Absolutely. Either if you cut the live off, even if you h- hold up. You tripping? You, you, I don't care about y'all nappy head ugly kids. Hold on. You talking about my mama? You talking about he- me? Hello. You talking about my grandmother? You talking about my dad? You, you do not get to say that. It was so simple. And I'm not saying. Go get, he should have gone against his wife on live. It's a way to ha- handle it. But to say nothing but is that's what, what the saying. problem I'm is. I'm the type of nigga, though, if my girl do something like that in public, I may not say nothing right in the moment. But rest in sure, believe, when we get off this live and we get from around these people, I'm going to say something. Yeah, But yeah, black, and, pride and means, black pride means when you can say something crazy public, 
But about he can't us. disrespect his wife. But she like can that. disrespect him, though. Yeah, but it's kind of like two wrongs don't make a right. Because at yeah. that point, yeah. when he go to be like, girl, you tripping and she on live, then the conversation is going to be about why are you trying to check me like that and disrespect me on live when really the conversation should be about what the hell you just said. Fact. Because it'll get spent real quick. You know how y'all be manipulating and shit and y'all spend the whole conversation. He probably just had a conversation off camera that was just Well, like, we did talk you know and he said, you don't understand what was going on in that video. He said, you see my kids running past. We had people moving. He's like, I'm there, but I'm like in the big bathroom. I'm here, but I'm not there. He's like, I had to play it back because people was tagging him on yeah, it. Yeah. He's like, I wasn't physically in a room, but I did see it play back and we had a conversation. I said, what? It was like we heard you right there next to her, and it's like yeah, but like what else said, is she saying off he camera? He's not gonna check her in that on that camera. He gotta sit there and like niggas ain't never finna really like just disrespect their girl or some yeah. shit like that. Like he gonna yeah. be like, girl, you tripping? What did you just say? What are you yeah. talking about? Yeah, it's gonna be a conversation had outside of that. Nobody wanna like really just make their girl feel uncomfortable and look bad in front of people, even though she wrong. Yeah, and I you know love that for you. I love that you are so powerful and so black and so beautiful. Oh yeah, and I see that you is for your women, and I love that for you. I love where you at right now and your journey and your life and everything that you got going on. It's just amazing to me to see your come you. up because I've known you for a long time. Yes. I've seen the journey too, even from a distance, even when we didn't know each other. Yeah. So you is doing your big one. God what, is dope. showing out. It's really what type dope. of amazing things do you have coming up? Well. There's some small <laughs> talks. I, I <laughs> Where do I energy, start? Mother. I caught it. Well, now that I'm, you know, on the MTV franchise, there's conversations about little old me kind of. Dial, keep it on the rap check. Dial. You know what I'm and just the music. I'm really going hard with the music right now. I think that my star has always been music, but I know I wasn't just primarily known for the music because having the businesses and not having a team for so long and running this and running the hair business and running this and then trying to be an artist at the same time, mm. realistically, it doesn't work that way. So I think that I got so swept up in entrepreneurship, YouTube and couple mm -hmm. that my music was slowly like, mm. we kind of remember you. You was the girl you used to do a lot of those open mics and you was winning stuff. And then bam, you were this influencer with this guy. And after that swept me away for two years, then the businesses came, but my true love has always been music. I moved to Atlanta from DJ Screaming and mm. Music Play. So I've been, you know, trying to pursue it, but life just gets to pulling you different ways. Absolutely. So my next chapter is literally music. Like I have employed and put people over my businesses, my brands, so that I can stop being so, I need to be the person over the Instagram. I need to go get the models. I need to get the photo shoot. How can you do that and then travel and be an artist and be on the radio? It's like, bitch, which one? Which, mm -hmm. which you, what are Absolutely. you going to do here? Thanks. Absolutely. So the fact that I got a team and I got some strong people, a few of them, mm -hmm. God blessed me with a few good people, I've now got help. Absolutely. So gotcha. now studio, dropping a video for Where Them Girls At, my new single. Down. Period. That's Saturday, Where dropping a music at? video. Where Them Girls At, WTGA. You looking for girls? Well, we found them. They all in the video. You will see it on Saturday. Gotcha. Gotcha. You will see it on Saturday. Is the song out though? Right the now, the song is out. Okay, gotcha. so you can stream the record. Um, video drops on Saturday, and it's just a real strong record for girls. Like the bosses, the girls is in between blessings. The girls is up. It's really women driven to be like small boss, medium boss, big boss. We all bosses, and you gonna feel good when you hear the song. So I'm just. Focusing on the music and really like being in the way but out the way this season. Got Down. it. My work been a talk for me this Down. season. Mm -hmm. Period. And Down. money, honey. Period. And well, a new cars and new house. Everything God is I can feel it. It's Down. There. Down. Yes. Well, I sure appreciate you. This has been great. Down has been great. What you got going on, Big Sexy? Oh <laughs> I'm blessed to Holly Fave, but it's not about me. Period. It's always about my boy, it's man. Always it's, about about you. it's not about me today. Um, but yes, I'm just so happy that you're here. I'm I'm blessed. This, this has is, been dope. This has been wonderful. It's this been has good. been wonderful. I Thank you so it. much, Queen. Yes. I love it. And I want to give Sexy his flowers real quick Me? as well. Because how you really stand up for us, you can oh. do it in privacy, but you do it in a way that I don't ever feel is demeaning to men. But I also feel like hearing it from a male perspective that people actually stop and hear it more. When we are screaming it, it gives... Girl, who hurt you? Girl, did I? But I feel like the way you have built your platform to be like, 
let's say some positive about black women. Mm-hmm. We see how they do on us on the reality shows. We see, we see how we're depicted and we play a part in it, but mm-hmm. I feel like out loud and in silence, you're the one person that when I look at your page, I'll be like, everybody. And I love what I, I love that yeah. for me. And, and people don't know. I've always been like this Okay, my whole life because Black women, even though it's so bad, Amy, because I really be trying to, like, be unbiased. Yeah. But women have literally been my, like, shield and protection. They are the makeup of my personality, how I maneuver, how I operate, how I think, how I, my style, everything. They taught me how to have a voice. Got it. I have a friend by the name of Jamika. She is the one that instilled my voice in me and said, cuss them motherfuckers out. Talk Flat about out. they dead grandma, they aunties. Don't let them boys play with you. Yeah. And I remember it literally, literally, like it was yesterday, a black woman. She would stand up for me all the time yeah. when I started my high school experience of just not knowing who I was and not yeah. knowing myself and boys picking on me. And I re- literally re- remember verbatim one day, she told me, go for the juggler. And I promise you they're going to leave you alone. And they back and the so hell up, didn't that they? Always, because I'm going to go deep. Yeah. The of hell yeah, and every they don't expect time. To. They expect you to kind of die, and I've never heard at all, at all. At and all. so for me, I just them is just my girls. Like I just yeah. love my girls. I love them. But you could use your platform for so many things. Like you remind me of myself in a sense of like I've never been the girl who used my popularity to only rock with the girls. It's like uh-huh. look like they got jewelry on. Uh-huh. And when I see your platform, I swear in my spirit, I'm like that's my Gemini twin uh-huh. because. I see you will put, it might be somebody in a wheelchair. It might be plus size. It might be a girl who, to, the, the, most people will be like, she's uh-huh. not pretty, but yeah. the fact that you get on the platform, I'm her. Uh-huh. I give it to all the black women. And, and, they be, and people also are so boring. And, and for me, y'all be so, people be so scared of what people going to think. Like, yeah, when I tell you I'm not that person, you I'm, would, I'm, I, you're a Gemini. I, I, I don't question like, you. Don't even, give a fuck, I'm one of the truly. people. I remember when I came out and said my bag was fake. I literally had people like, hey, wait a minute. Don't do that. Really? Me, I give not one. Bitch, I stayed in the fake bag the fuck. first couple years of the of the grind. That, y'all motherfuckers don't pay my bills. And, and girl, Amy, if I went to my savings account right now, you would gag and fly out the window. Right. I have no, Fuck y'all. Y'all and don't I pay buy my bills. I give not one fuck. Yeah. Y'all don't pay my bills. Right. I'm walking in my truth always. This is who I am. I'm a force. My personality, how I think, how I maneuver, I'm a force. A lot of people can't take me, right. and I give no fuck. <laughs> and Period. the bitches who what's stuck so on the funny? real bags is really no, is I'm, mostly what, the real fake bitches. What's so funny? You know me. When somebody huh? mentioned wheelchair, my mind just goes. What? Why? Hey. That's funny. No, because I'm thinking about your birthday party. And when he oh, with the cake? Yes. Oh the, my you, God. Which one? This one this year or the one last year? Uh, I didn't get invited to. Did, no, no, no. <laughs> which one? No, Amy, because you got invited to both. Set the play. I, 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 <laughs> I don't think I got All that right. invite. Thank y'all so much. Oh it's been I don't think I got show, that invite. It's been so amazing, y'all. Mm-hmm. My sister Amy, do you want to take us on out? Or? You good, my boy. Oh, love y'all so much. I appreciate y'all. Hold down. On, get the, down. Can I get the down. last one? Down. Let me cut the camera down. Down. I appreciate y'all, man. (laughs) Peace, man. This has been another episode of Set the Record Straight Podcast. Y'all know where to catch us at. Um, I would like y'all to start following us on the Rumble. We on Rumble. We on uh, YouTube. We on all these other social media platforms. Just type in. We just get started. Set the Record Straight Pod. The live show coming Oh, it's crazy. But stay tuned. The live show is going to be sickening. I'm telling y'all it's going to be sickening. I'm telling y'all. Remember what I said. And then the the first live show may end up into like a tour. We might be in your city. So y'all just come support. And guess what? This is what we're going to do too. We're going to have a panel because I'm going to show y'all how I give it in real life because a lot of people think it's for the cameras, but I give it in real life like that. We're going to have a panel with like men and me. Ooh. And like well, women, me and you and some other you. No, but I'm saying you are straight men, so I'm putting yeah. you in that category yeah, of you a straight mix man. It up yeah, for yeah. Sure. like straight men, and then when I say me, I'm talking about like gay men. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. So gay gonna, men, straight men, women, straight men, and just go to war in there, but like Ooh. in a good way. But it's but gonna di- be such a real intense conversation. Oh, yeah. oh damn! Yeah. As long as you have a moderator, because it's gonna be intense. No, oh, it's gonna it's be good. Gonna be you gotta be able to have my door. Yeah, when I say war, well, I mean like in a yeah, good way, yeah. like okay. different perspectives. Because I feel like people yeah. try to mimic this dynamic, but they don't know how to have like. Oh just, no! You said I'm leftovers. I never forget that. No, Clarence and Miles will come back because. Still no, for real, for real. 
People said, try to mimic this dynamic, but a lot of niggas you really. See that? You see that? Yeah. Oh, I'm left. <laughs> not, over. Not I was like, hey. Hey. And my sister caught that too. Left over. Yeah. Oh, it was like, oh. It's for real. People try to mimic this dynamic, but they. Niggas ain't really comfortable to really talk about this shit. Oh, and I love that's my boy though. It's hard for love a nigga. Y'all got a good dynamic though. I don't think that. that somebody can take him out and do this and take you out and do this. That's my boy. I feel like how y'all can actually like straight men gave me how the conversation can go. If the rest of the world could do this, that's what I, be in a I called him last place. night and said that when him and his fiance left from the club, it just dawned on me because that's what it should be like. Yeah. A straight man securing himself and who he is. He has this beautiful fiance there. I'm minding my business. Yeah. This the world should intertwine. I'm not bothering nobody. He's not bothering me. And I think that is a beautiful thing. That's a one because a lot of I always tell girls this all the time. You need to check on your man when he's not like that. Because if your you man is securing what? himself, that's not his what I'm doing is not his business. The guy who style and pull Mozzie clothes is gay. It's it's other gay people around his team and staff, but he's so secure. He'll probably fuck you up for trying to bully him. And just yes. real women or real men. It's and you know we what it really is don't too? care what you are or who y'all like. You know what it is too. It's like it's I learned. Weird. Like when when we embarked upon this friendship, it was like I had to really sit and evaluate myself because I'm like, yeah, I'm comfortable. I know who I am, but I also can't come to him talking about my shit in my life with my female and. You know, having these nigga conversations and him not so? be okay having his gay conversations with me. Got it. Like, just like I'd be like, say some shit that like me and my girl done did. I have to sit here and have an open ear. But are you to... comfortable with it? No, I am. Okay, well, good. That's you know what my saying? boy. Yeah. And I, that's... No, it's just saying, I would be selfish as a friend for him not to be Thanks. like, if I'm like, yeah, bro, I just fucked my girl last night. We had a good ass time. And he can't share it with and you. He can't though. be like, yeah, I just sucked some dick. Now, I might be like, but at the same time, I kind of always, still you always get Luckily, this is a podcast because you know if this was Love Hip, but they would they would have took that one segment. I'll suck some dick, oh. and that's what would have been a show opener. <laughs> that would have been a show opener. Here. Okay, I'm done. And you would have spent six months in the way they edited it. Y'all stay tuned, man. <laughs> Hot because you would never live it down after oh. it come out. Oh. Everybody out there in the world, hear me clearly. See, I didn't switch my shit up. You like that, don't you? It's the one of the only big sexy official live in the flesh. He told these people on the podcast, he sh on somebody. Like flashing and flashing about f nine a week. Like, when does that cycle stop with you? Women based off, off emotions, they want love, they want to be married. You compare everything because you get on social media and you look at a lot of fake sh 